we're back. I couldn't hold my excitement. I simply had to move on to case two, Fallen Star. <coughs> yes, let's do it. I've been chomping at the bit. It hadn't been a great start to the summer. The job I love, my whole career was gone. I was lost. That was the least of my worries. Cool. Yeah, we ended the last case with a, another murder. I hadn't seen a real body since dad's funeral, but suddenly I was hunted by death. First Blake, the man who, and then the man who killed him. And somehow, in a way I couldn't begin to understand, I was at the center of it all. Dun dun. The only good thing to come out of, this, uh, of that day was meeting Scout. But he had a problem of his own. Could he even understand what I was going through? Yeah, hey, give Scout some credit. He's a real one. Still, it was good to have someone to talk to. Yeah, it was a nice feeling. Comfortable. Wondered how long it would last. Ooh. Oh, hello, lady. Sharon. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Your friends are late. I said we should have taken a cab. You really want to miss your own award show? A what? They'll be there, Mom. Mom. You're probably stuck in traffic. Dick Stanford is hosting this year. I bet he's not stuck in traffic. He's a professional. Ask Casey uh, to drive me to the awards. I can't bail on him just because you invited yourself along at the last second. Mom. Yo, that fucking brooch. What the fuck? What's not like you're, we're going to bring a date, is it? Oof. Speaking of which, I saw Ryan the other day. Ryan and I are through, Mom. Divorced. It's over. <laughs> that attitude i'm hardly surprised oh my god mom god there's no substitute for a good man i should know where is that anyways I found something yesterday while i was cleaning out my drawers think of it as an early birthday present Ooh, is it another dope ass brooch my birthday was three months ago mom <laughs> we always got to make such a big deal out of everything just take it oh heck yeah scan this bitch Starting the case off with a nice little puzzle. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Uh, not quite. Yeah, not quite. Oh, wait. A lot of X's. Yes. Yes. Beginning to believe. Yeah, solving Picross really makes me feel like I'm looking into the Matrix. Like I found some sort of deeper understanding with the universe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get out of here. Uh, oh, that's complete. Heck yeah. There you go. Nothing here, obviously. Oops. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get the overlaps, as they like to call them. Uh, let's see. Let's do the six. The five in there. One could still be here. Just kidding, it's not. Alright, what is this? Is this a motorcycle helmet? Does mom want us to get into uh, uh, a motorcycle gang? Hello, Via. Uh, let's see. What's going on, gangster? Uh, ooh, this could be the one. So I won't count my chickens. Uh, the one has to be here, so shabam. I hope I didn't frick this up. Shabam, shabam. Uh, okay, I think I got it. I think, I think we're good. Just gotta do the minutia. I think it's right here and right here. All right, what the heck is this? A, a ring? Oh, a locket! Yes! Who is this woman in the locket? <laughs> is it a ghost? All right, we're starting it up. This is case two, by the way. So we're, we're starting from the bottom. Jewelry mom, open it up. There's a photograph inside. Oh, wow. Wow. Why is that police officer standing in front of, the, of a giant brown hat? <laughs> it must be at least 25 feet in diameter. What? Same giant brown hat? 
How big must the person who wears that hat be? I'll need to add this to my database. No, Scout. That's the Brown Derby on Wilshire. I loved that restaurant as a kid. What? Is that is that a deep cut? Is that an LA deep cut? And he isn't just any police officer. That's a photo of her father. Not that it's any of your business. Come on, Mom. <laughs> Scout's cool, all right? Really, Anna, I don't know where you found this thing. It's not even human. Look at it. Look at him. How's it? He's more than human. I am not human. I am Scout. Better point that camera. <laughs> don't start, Mom. <laughs> I'm just happy you found this photo. I have a lot of pictures of Dad. Yeah, only from when he was in high school. Yo, Casey. It's about time you showed up. I always thought you were unreliable, but this takes the cake. Mom, don't be homophobic. Mrs. Mizrahi. Uh, d delightful to see you as always, baby. I gotta get into the voice. Anna, you didn't tell me your mother was coming. You gotta warn me. I'd have brought my wooden stake. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that brooch does seem like something a vampire would have. Uh, sorry, I didn't know until today. Trust me, she wasn't exactly my first choice for a plus one either. One second, I think that's my phone. Honor, you know how my ankle gets if I have to stand for too long. Oh, she's got fucking... She's blinged out. She loves the, the jewelry. The rubies and stuff. Hell yeah. Uh-huh, okay. We'll see you there, bye. Becky said she doesn't need a ride anymore. She'll meet us there. Becky, with the good hair? Well, are we going, or are you two going to stand out here yapping until sundown? <laughs> I'm going to go sit in the car before I catch a call. <laughs> but it's the middle of June. God, Mom. You know how Mom's is. You know how Mom's is. And you bring yourself up for adoption. I guess we should get going. Right, you are. Wouldn't want a uh, heart to thaw out in the hot car, would we? <laughs> Orpheus Theater. Oh, we, we don't have any evidence, I don't think. I don't think evidence carries over. So, ready for the Starshine Awards? Lock it. Check out my dad. Q lock it, where'd you get it? Mom gave it to me. Oh, be careful, it might be cursed. <laughs> it's my mother you're talking about, right, dog? I've been better. Still kind of processing, you know. I didn't want to bug you, but last time you were at this quiet was because of that douchebag. <laughs> so I was a little worried. Well, you shouldn't. No matter how bad things get, I'm never going back there, I promise. Oof. You spoken to your agent about any new roles? I could always put some feelers out amongst the stylist network. We hear everything. Truth be told, I haven't even told her. I don't want to rush into anything, and my savings will last another couple months, I'll be fine. Of course you will, baby. I mean, you've got me, haven't you? And I guess you've got Scout now, too. Although, just to clarify, it's still crazy that you have a literal flying robot. Nah, Scout's dope. That's fine, I'm not jealous. Uh, why does Dick stand for hosting? Why is Dick Tallpipe hosting? Do you think it's a bit weird that Dick Stanford is hosting the awards? Oh, uh, a retired chat show host is hardly going to bring in viewers, is he? You know, Mossy, the stylist I know at the Late Late Show. <laughs> she said it's because he runs the Starshine Committee. He uses clout to demand they make him the presenter. Uh, wow, throwing his weight around sounds about right for this town. Yeah, you know how it is on this bitch of a town. If he's been running the awards this long, he must be doing a good job, but... Can't say I particularly want to watch him. Me neither, but Mom won't shut up about the guy. <laughs> He's the only reason she's coming. I swear, when he quit TV, she was sadder than when Grandma died. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> what, of Grandma dying? I think we better go soon. If your mom stares at uh, me from the car much longer, she'll bore a hole in my head. First, I gotta ask you about Scout. It's been fun having Scout at my place, but I'm exhausted. The other guy's been soaking up information like a sponge ever since we watched Casablanca. <laughs> I've been, I've watched uh, we've watched 26 movies over the past nine days. I want to see more, but Anna run has run out of tapes. Wow, you better you better have shown him Men in Black one. I don't know if that's come out yet. I think it's like 1998 or something. Who knows? 
can't exactly tell by the model of the cars. Oh, these look kind of old. Some real my the, these headlights. Ooh, th those really date it actually. It's not just TV. These are almost every book I own. He loved Dad's old mystery novels. Yo, and Casablanca. Yeah, I've never seen Casablanca. If I, can, if I can learn the techniques of all the great detectives, I might be able to find out where I came from or where I come from. Where did I go? Where did I come from? Got nine Joe. I can't believe anyone would build something as incredible as Scout and then just throw him away in a junkyard. It was for his own safety. All right, they were they're after Scout. Uh, whoever they are, they don't deserve him anymore. Forget about that. I already did. That's the problem. <laughs> All right, let's fucking move. Orpheus, Orpheus Theater. What is Orpheus? I only know that from Destiny, the video game. Well, I never. <laughs> We've actually gone all out on the decorations this year. There's a champagne waiter. Hey, hello, over here. Oh, no, what's up? Everyone's staring at us at me. What do you expect? This is what you signed up for when you became an actress. <laughs> We're going to find our table. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. This music is... Hmm... Yeah, hit that stand-up bass. Oof, bring it down. Do you all know about what happened at the studio? About Blake? Yeah, everyone was chatting about it on, uh, oh fuck, what what they call it? <laughs> on Usenet. <laughs> you know Hollywood Honor. News travels fast. They'll get over it. Oh, stop zooming around. What's the matter with you people? <laughs> You, yeah, you there, in the cheap jacket. <laughs> Maybe you should spend less time gopping at us? Is gopping a word? Gopping? Yeah, gopping's a word. Oh, yeah, well. That was ga kink. Hmm. And there's some more time in front of a mirror. That wig isn't fooling anyone. Damn, bitch. Clomping is lol. <laughs> oh, this asshole. I can't wait for him to die at my hands. <laughs> Nicely done. I wish I could make that big an entrance. Right. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, uh, Casey. Loud and clueless as always. I'm here because I was invited. Were you, or did Honor just bring you along out of pity? Jesus, what an asshole. Oh, of course. I forgot they'd add an award for a sleaziest ex-husband of the year. I'm rooting for you, Ryan. It's about time people recognize how good you were in that role. <laughs> I guess this is an absolute piece of shit. Thanks, Casey, but I can handle him. Would you go check on Mom, make sure she's okay? Fine. Even she's a step up from this bottom feeder. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, look at his fucking pinstripes. His brown pinstripe fucking blazer over a fucking <laughs> a v neck. <laughs> this guy. I heard about your showrunner. Hard to believe that kind of thing can really happen, isn't it? Not when you've seen the body firsthand. You must have been overwhelmed. Sorry I wasn't there to help. Thanks, but I don't need your help. I did just fine on my own. Really? That's not what I heard. Is it true that the murderer died before the cops could get to him? Took a dive off the 10th floor? Ex-husband looking ass. Yeah, the big ex-husband vibes for sure. Look at how high up, how close squinted his eyes is, yet how high up his eyebrows are. Like, usually those are mutually exclusive. Two dead in one day, and both times you were just a little too late. I've got to say, but doesn't sound just fine to me. But I guess you're still too proud to admit you need my help. What would you have done, asshole? <laughs> that was the best I could under the circumstances. I'm sure you did. Just something to think about, I guess. Anyway, I've got to go. Got some business to see to. Enjoy the ceremony. God. What? <laughs> That was my ex-husband. He's an ass. <laughs> I surmised. That's not the definition I have on file for ass. Uh, 
What time does the award show start? I can't wait to see what it's like. I'm not sure. I think I've got the details here somewhere. Oh, ho, ho. oh I love these weird... Normally in Picross games, it's like a square. But I love these rectangular ones. They remind me of myself, as I am quite rectangular. Uh, ooh, 12. That's almost everything. Yo. 1113. Oh, I mean it. Yeah, I don't know how to explain this, but the controls feel wonkier than most Picross games. <laughs> Which is weird, because, I mean, it's just Picross, but, like, I don't know. I find myself hitting the wrong button a lot in this game, whereas I usually don't in other Picross likes. So fine. Uh, two has to be here. Uh, that's a one. Has to be the three. It's weird, yeah. Uh, but Picross is Picross is Picross. That's those are my thoughts on it. You know, you can't mess up Picross. It's too iconic, if you ask me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get the overlap. Uh, oh, I think this is. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. This has to be an X because there can't be anything here. So that tells me the seven. Yeah. Oh, that was. Oh no, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh god, this one. This is a weird one. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> All these pieces are coming along in weird places. Uh. Okay. This is two. This is the one. This is the other one. Uh, I can't reach here. One, three, one, three. Okay, it has to be like that. Don't know the two. Oh, the six. How did I not see that before? I'm so blind. Five is a gimme. Is that nine? Is that nine? That's nine. Okay. You know what song has been stuck in my head? Uh, I can... Uh... Uh, who is it? Uh, the yeah, Dell the Funky Homo Sapien is a. Uh... Hold on, hold on. What was it? What is it called? Is it Mister Dabalina? Yeah, Mister Dabalina. Yeah, God, that song's been stuck in my head all day. I woke up with that song just in my head. Bob Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina. Yeah. Damn, that song do go hard though. I had, it took me a while to find out what it was. <laughs> In my head it was just like, what the hell is this? Oh, it's Happy Pills. Oh, a flyer. <laughs> oh, that's not a D. Welcome to the 21st Annual Starshine Award, hosted by Dick Stanford. <laughs> uh, I know that name. Your mother was, has mentioned him 43 times so far today. Yeah, she's kind of obsessed. He used to host a late night show called Back Talk. It says here he's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award to be presented by his former co-host Kathleen Cartwright. Is that a real person? That sounds like a real person. And it's about time, too. He's a legend. Mom, what are you doing? Did you find our table? Of course I did. I'm not about to sit here alone with that Casey. Oh, not it's hold on. Is that is his name Casey? But he just writes it as K and C, like our freaking like a droid from Star Wars. Oh yeah, I know Josh loves that song. He put it in a what's called Marvel. That's how I know it. I don't like the way that boy looks at me. <laughs> huh, no wonder he can't find a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't have time to go into that right now. <laughs> Come on, mom. You gotta you gotta tune your gaydar. I can't see dick anywhere. <laughs> I can't see dick of dick. Do you think he had to cancel? Jesus, mom, give it a rest, will you? He's probably dead. All these people, why don't they sit down so I can see? 
Hey, you <laughs> with the serving tray, get out of the way. Oof. Hey, Becky. Oh, Becky, never thought I'd say this, but thank God you're here. Me? Miss the Starshine Awards? Never. I just had some stuff to deal with at home. But you understand, Honor. You're always talking about how crazy your mom is. <laughs> she said what? <laughs> Becky, this is my mom. Oh, hi. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> Don't worry, I made sure not to bring any garlic. Uh, she's just kidding, Mom. I... Hey, I think that was him. Oh, uh, Mr. Stanford. Dick. <laughs> Dick over here. <laughs> uh, she moves fast for an old lady. Honor, I swear to God, if your mom gets us kicked out of the Starshine Awards, I better go find her before she does anything crazy. Oh, the mom is the killer. Oh, she's gotta be. I can't question Becky. Hey, Becky, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my mind. Hey, Becky. Oh, this is prime fucking scanning territory. Ooh, look at these shirts. Mother. What the hell are these? <laughs> Alright, Mom, are you back here? I can't believe I'm actually trying to find my mom. Give me a moment to scan the area. I may be able to see where she went. Yes, scan that bitch. Alright. So far, I got nothing. Oh. She's behind the ladder. Okay, okay. Ooh, this is a tricky one. A lot of ones. I don't like that. Oh, hold on. Got that, though. Uh. I got that, so that gives me an X there. Wait, so three has to be here, because it can't, the two threes can't fit on this side. Look at that, look at that. I'm so freaking good at this game. Uh, I did send an innocent man to the precinct, but that's that's a, a different matter entirely. Alright. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I think this is a three. Oh, there, there's no way it can be the one. Yeah. So, so what I did just there is I circled this to see if it would gray out one of the ones. And since it didn't, I know that this isn't one of the ones, so this is probably the three. Which makes this the one. One, two, three, four. That narrows it down the area for the four. Uh, the two has to be here. Give me that one. Uh, which means the one has to be here. Oh, baby. Oh, it gives us a two. It's another one. There we got the three. Oh, it's popping off. Uh, one, two, three. That narrows it down enough to get some overlap. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for the compliments. I know I'm good, but you know, you can be this good too if you just uh, dedicate years of your life to Picross, like I did. If you studied the craft. Uh, oh yeah, this one didn't get grayed out here when I crossed it out because this could be either the one on the left or the one on the right because there could be a one here or a one here. One, two, three, four. Beautiful, yum, beautiful. Oh, there we go. Uh, there can be a spot here because those are twos. So there we go. Uh, this four has its space narrowed down. There's a three. Uh, two can't fit there. Two has to go over here. Uh, four can't fit here. Booyaka, booyaka, 619, hey. Oh, it's an unknown. The Pokemon. I should have known. There we go. What the hell is this? A tie? A bow tie. I mean, uh, those are to be expected. This is a, a, a blue tie event. Interesting. There's a bow tie on the floor. I hate to interrupt, but my mom isn't wearing a bow tie. Perhaps not, but my scans indicate it was moved here very recently. In fact, based on the crumpled angle of the fabric, your mother could be coming this way. She's coming this way. What? Who? Who? Excuse me? Oh, that's Dick. Oh, he's so old. Ah, oh, good. You hear about the flowers? Yes, I have strict care instructions. 
First, remember to water them six times a day, seven on weekends. What on earth are you babbling about, girl? Dick, glad to have finally caught up with you. <laughs> so expensive for puzzles? What? Yeah, uh, it's it's free right now on uh, on the Epic Game Store. That's why I got it. It's not just about the puzzles; it's about the murder mystery, and about Dick. Look at him. Sorry, I don't have I don't do autographs. I can't write on account of me having no hands. Now about those flowers, I have specifically asked for a a a a a a a a a but you gave me Alstoemeria. An easy mistake, the Alstoemeria. Is this a new coffee machine? I'll take a triple grande non-fat latte with no foam. Yo, hell yeah. Slowpoke. <laughs> Slowpoke do be going hard. Apparently there there's shinies in, in Pokemon Sleep, so... Fucking... Hurry up and catch some of those. So, what, what do you have to say for yourself? I, uh... Come on, I haven't got all day. What's that you've got in your hand? It's a bow tie, but... That thing again, I told you people, Dick Stanford does not wear a clip out. They're cheap and tacky, and damn things don't even get tight enough. Look how thick my neck is with this turtleneck. Now I have to go on stage in my turtleneck. <laughs> okay, you brought it up. I'm gonna look like some kind of amateur. No excuses, it was all from my contract. You'll be hearing from my lawyers about this. Wait, Dick, I wanted to... I wanted to Dick. <laughs> so that's Dick Stanford, huh? What a guy. <laughs> He's obviously just stressed. When is this show to, supposed to be starting anyways? Oh, he's gonna fucking bite the dust. I can already feel it. Uh, yeah. New save, new save. All right, just in case I fuck up questioning mom. Mom, are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Dick was pretty rude. <laughs> Dick was kind of a dick. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Uh, oh, 1996. Okay, we know what year it is. Uh, it contains an old photo of Dan and the Brown Derby restaurant. Good memories. Thanks again for the locket, Mom. Father was a good man. You need things to remember him by. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Dick was pretty rude. I know you're a big fan of dicks. <laughs> you can't say that to your mom. I know you're a big fan of dicks. You know, you made me after all. But you've got to admit, he was pretty rude. It was just stress. I'm sure he's not normally like that. He loves his fans. <laughs> I'm not surprised he's a little on edge after he was all but forced into retirement. Imagine if your show was taken away from you. Huh. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't. Uh, if you ask me, Mrs. Stanford has every reason to be upset. They made him retire just to replace him with that idiot Bobby Price. All because he isn't younger. What's the word? Rad. <laughs> like that young man Tony Hawk is always saying. Back in my day, radical meant some kind of hippie. <laughs> some kind of hippie? I'm surprised you wanted to come tonight. I thought you didn't like award shows. I don't. I don't want to see a bunch of overpaid nobodies get awards for just standing around on camera. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Don't give me that look. You know how I feel about modern television. All style, no substance. What about Dick Stanford? He works in TV and you're his, highest, or his biggest fan. That's completely different. He's got style. He's got grace. This Kong has a funny face. Class, that's what sets Dick Stanford apart from the rest. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Hold on. There you go. <laughs> He's a dime breed on her. When you said he was going to be here, I knew I had to come and support him. What? What? Huh? Him? What about me? My show's up for an award too, you know. Why do you always make, <laughs> have to make everything about yourself? Uh, did you know Ryan was here? Uh, he's the last person I want to talk to right now. You're bound to bump into him occasionally. <laughs> he's got good tune actions. Oh yeah, apparently Ryan is a, is a big wig. Oh, he said he had a head for business. You don't find a man like him every day. Thank God for that. 
<laughs> Just trying to be civil. It's not his fault you decided to leave him. Wow. Wow, mother. You're lucky. It's illegal to strangle your parents. Uh, Alright, let's. I guess we head back to the... Hold on, can we investigate? Let's head back to the main hall. Oh, Becky. <laughs> as much as I hate Becky, I love Becky. How could, how could you not? Where have you been? They're about to start. I wouldn't want you to miss anything when I get called up for to collect a best actress. When? Did you even watch this season? I killed it. There's no way I'm not taking home that trophy. Will you keep quiet? Dick is about to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I wanna see what he was what he was gonna say. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mom? Hold on no, British people say mom. Whoa, who's this Carmen San Diego over here? Welcome to the 21st Annual Star Shine Awards. I'm Dick Stanford. The emphasis on the dick. And Ka and I'm Kathleen Cartwright. Are they, wait, weren't they co-stars? Are they the same age? Applause, applause, applause. Yo, she is, she is styling. Woof, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know what the voice to do for her. Uh, uh, maybe, hold on, is she also old? I got to tell you, Dick, it's so good to be back on stage with you tonight. Thank you, Kathleen. Well, isn't this a wonderful reunion? I've always said we make a great team. Now, before we begin with the awards, I want to say how grateful I am to all you out here for supporting me since my retirement. My fans mean everything to me. I may not have my show anymore. <laughs> because some uh, executives ripped it from my cold hands, but I have your support. Let me tell the world tonight, Dick Stanford is not dead yet. Ooh, that's a that's a Chekhov's gun. You're gonna be dead real soon, brother. You're gonna fucking Paper Mario style have one of these lights fall on your head, do two damage, and that's gonna be the end of it. Thank you. Now to the awards, and we begin with best act. We begin with best actress. Wow, these yellow young ladies have graced our screens this year with their beauty and poise. Some of them managed to remember their lines too. Ah ha ha, women, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. The Starshine Committee has nominated some very talented actresses this year. Very true. The competition was fierce, Queen. But there can only be one winner. And there was one name in particular we just couldn't ignore. My lovely assistant, Catalina, will do the honors and open up the golden envelope. Hate him, lol. <laughs> the winner is. Sarah O'Hara from Oklahoma Dreaming. Wow, right into it, huh? Wasting no time. What? Oh no, she's gonna make a scene. <laughs> Big round of applause for Sarah, everyone. What a ch- I'm so happy for her. Well deserved. Really, she earned it. <laughs> uh, Becky, people are saying it. Let them stare. This is a travesty. <laughs> What's gotten into you, girl? Keep your voice down. I'm sick of keeping my voice down. Oh no. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Don't go off on your own, Becky. This is how murders are done. Oh, is she gonna kill him? Oh, yeah. Fucking snap his head off. <laughs> Crack him like a fucking glow stick, Becky. These awards are a joke. I worked my ass off for four years. And what do I have to show for it? I thought this was finally being my year. But no. Sarah, oh, freaking Hera. Are you kidding me? But guess what? You're all dead to me. Uh oh. So I'm using the word dead. This is a murder mystery. Ah, shit. What? I refuse to say this. <laughs> what an... <laughs> I feel like you could just... I, I, uh, okay, I guess they named him Dick for a reason. <laughs> Holy shit. This is what Kanye did to Taylor Swift. Yeah, I'm gonna let you finish. I guess it's someone's time of the month, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Kathleen, you are not paid enough for this. Bloody hell, Becky just made Sally Field look reserved. You hate me, you really hate me. Yeah. What the, how the fuck are these glasses? Hold on, what the heck is this? 
Is that legal? Can you do that? Tough crown. <laughs> I better go after her before she gets everyone killed. So, uh, Mrs. Mizrahi. Is there a Mr. Mrs. Mizrahi? You, uh, enjoying the evening so far? What? What was that? It's no good. She locked herself in the restroom. I think she dropped something on her way out. Let me take a look. Let me solve this Picross puzzle. Okay, so. I believe with the one and a four, these should go here. Uh, the three betrays this. Uh, oh, the five can't fit here. Oh, yeah, this is huge. Getting these edge pieces. Well, when they're all ones, it's kind of not as great. Uh... That could still be the one. Uh, this is a lot of X's, I suppose. Uh, oh, this one's, this one's, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, if this is a two, then... Ah, oh, no! I want to know where the side the four is on. Ah. Yeah, this one's, this one's tough. Hold on, hold on. I got to... I gotta recede into my mind palace here. Oh wait, no, hold on. This is easy. All right, we did it. Uh, this has to be a one. So this is a one. This is a one. Uh, no, I'm back to square uno. Oh, hold on. This is a four. So there's an X there. Oh baby, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two can't fit there, so that's a big X. It's a, gonna be an X from me, dog. Uh, is getting an X a good thing? What's that show with the X's? Is it The Voice? I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a huge. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me I'll turn the volume up here a little bit. There you go. Uh, the game audio, I should say. Oh, whoops. Failure. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, is this the two? It could be the one. Huh. Uh. Yeah, hold on. Oh, I might have to go into test mode here. Yeah. What, hello? Well, uh, I don't know why I couldn't remove that X. Uh, who do you think did it? <laughs> well, we don't know what happened, so hold on. You gotta, you gotta chill out, dog. Uh, and I don't think this, this puzzle is gonna tell me anything. Hold on. One, two, one, one. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, this tells me something. We got, oh, it actually tells me a lot. A four can't fit there, so this is a four, this is a one, this is a five, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, two, a uh, four goes there, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, nothing doing, two can't fit there, a four goes here, okay, okay, two, one, one, uh, two, four, three, one, two, two, uh, Bam, one, one. Stabam, stabitty. Uh, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. What is it? Torn up speech. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, Becky, no. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. I can't tell you how good it, fin it feels to finally receive the award for best actress. Mom, dad, if you're watching, I told you I could do it. <laughs> this must have been Becky's acceptance speech, but her parents didn't even turn up. She must be heartbroken. Ah, uh, now I'm heartbroken. Oh, who the heck is this? Crazy night, huh? I'm Bobby Price. What the fuck? Now this is fashion, baby. Sounds familiar. Have we met? Uh, not until now. Hey, aren't you that goat from the news? The one that solved that murder? And this must be your little robot dude. That's dope. Yeah, hell yeah, finally some recognition. No, I am Scout. <laughs> Bobby Price, what are you doing here? 
So, oh, that's how I know your name. You ought to be ashamed uh, to be on the same building, the same building as Dick Stanford. You stole his show. What are you talking about? I didn't steal anything. Can you people leave me alone? <laughs> Can you people leave me alone? Uh, you think you're so cool with your clothes and your hair? <laughs> Dick's show went to hell when you took over. You threw out everything the fans loved. Only thing you idiot kept was the, you idiots kept was the title. If you ask me, you should have changed that too. Back talk, more like crap talk. Yes, Queen, tear him up, Mom. I should get out of here. <laughs> I think the show's about to start again. Bonner, uh, we should talk sometime. I'd love to have you on for an interview. Thanks, I'll think about it. You'll do no such thing. He only wants to boost his rings before he gets canceled. Oh my god. D Dick's got you all brainwashed. I swear, next time I see him, I'm gonna snap him like a twig. <laughs> see, what did I tell you? Network TV is full of idiots. Preach it, sister. Oh, Kathleen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is... It's time to present this year's Lifetime Achievement Award. Applause, applause, applause. Oh, she's wearing gloves. She's the murderer. She did it. He's not going to be able to come up because he's dead. I'm calling it right now. Uh, there aren't many as well-loved in television as tonight's winner. And while he may have retired, I'm sure we'll be talking about him for years to come. I'm pleased to be able to give this award to these... And these lovely flowers to my co-star, Dick Stanford. Oh, no, he's alive. God damn it. Sniff. Ah, these flowers smell incredible. You know how much I love Clematis. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I spent over 20 years on television, so I learned a little something about what makes a successful show. And I, uh, sorry, it's it's warm up here. I never thought my my, my show would. <clears throat> oh, he's going to fucking bite it. Sorry about this, folks. Dick, are you okay? Have you been drinking? What? No, I, I don't. I... It's hot in here, and all these people staring. Oh, he's paranoid. He had a he took a he took a grip backstage. <laughs> he's fucking toasted out of his gourd. Uh, they're waiting to hear from you, Dick. Why don't you tell them about our show? Our show? You mean my show? I no, not mine anymore. It's it's his show. Are you are you about to are you about to Hulk out? What are you talking about? Perhaps you better go lie down. But. Bobby, Bob, p p price that sniveling little thing, thing they gave him my show. 20 years and I'm tossed out like, like, oh my god, this is hysteric. I think it's his time of the month if you ask me. What? What are y'all staring at? You all think I'm crazy, don't you? Let me tell you something. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, he's about to bite it. I don't know what to say. I'm very sorry y'all had to see that. I'm sure you'll be better off once he slept it off. You know how old people get. He's already 40. Oh, Dick. You look terrible. You look drunk. Uh, what do you think was wrong with him? You mean besides being a terrible human being? The poor man obviously having some kind of nervous breakdown. I'm gonna go check on him if no one else will. Mom, stop trying to... <laughs> Stop trying to get Dick, if you know what I mean. Uh, you got to admire or dedication. I don't get it. We met Dick backstage and he was a complete jackass. At least he was living up to his name. Thank you. My mom refuses to accept it. She's acting like nothing ever happened. Uh, if you believe something is for long enough, sometimes you don't want to see the truth, especially if it hurts. Maybe you're right. Looks like the show's finishing up. I guess, <laughs> wow, that was quick. I guess we can forget about taking home any awards tonight. Why bother inviting all of us here if we weren't going to win anything? <laughs> As if you had anything better to do on a Tuesday night. <laughs> Who even likes Dick, you know? That's what I'm saying. Touche. Although, there's a drag bingo at, the, at a club not far from here. That sounds like a great time. We could go tonight. Yeah, with your mother? Good point. Let's just head home. <laughs> ah, classic mom. Getting in the way of the queens, as always. Uh, that's a wrap. Every that's that about wraps everything up on yet another wonderful evening. Many thanks to all our award winners. On behalf of the Sunshine Committee, I'd like to oh, stop everything. Uh oh.
Dick Stanford is dead. Holy shit. Drag bingo sounds like fun. Yeah, anything in drag is elevated. Episode 2, Fallen Star. Oh, I get it, because he's dead. Yo, they're going to think Becky did it, but Becky didn't do it. We know Becky. She's a piece of shit, but, you know, she's she's lovable. And her voice is great. She has a great voice. Uh, what? Dick's dead? Are you sure? Dead as a door, Dick. Of course I'm sure. I know a dead body when I see one. I'll call the police. Mom? Get off the stage. I went backstage. His door was open. He, he was... Sharon, did you see who it was? Where did they go? No, that wasn't her voice. Uh, leave her alone, Ryan. She's in shock. Uh, well, was... What are you, a paramedic? I'm just trying to help. You want to help? Go get her a glass of water. Come on, Mom. You should sit down. He was just lying there, staring up at the ceiling. You don't want my help? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a tragedy here tonight, but we're lucky enough to have a famous detective in the house. Honor Mizrahi, everyone. What the hell, Ryan? You fucking bozo. No need to be modest, Honor. We've all read about how you solved the murder of Blake Patterson. Honor, what's he talking about? I'm sorry, it seems we haven't all read about it. Do you know your daughter is a hotshot detective now, Ms. Ms. Mrs. Mizrahi? Ryan, stop. What the fuck are you doing? Someone is dead. She's quirky like you. <laughs> Damn right. Read the tags. You know it. They don't let you put the uh, quirky in your Twitch tags unless you're actually quirky. I'm sure Honor will be too happy to kick off tonight's investigation. I'm going to give her a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. What the? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Absolute pile of shit person. You better get to the crime scene, Honor. You don't want to be too late yet again. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking beat this dude's ass. Alright, no questions, nothing. Uh, oh, only go to the dressing room. Okay, okay. Oh, there he is. Call back, dick. Back talk is back, dick. Double trouble, what the- Oh, did he do a- uh, uh, what's it called? What, what, what's that movie with Eddie Murphy where he plays like every character? He, he, the, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Nutty Professor, that's it. Or Nutty Professor 2? He played all the clumps. Consider wig making, huh? Uh, back LA. No? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Wow. This place is a mess. And this dude's dead. He's really bit the dust. Yep, he's dead. Don't think you can just walk back away from me, Honor Mizrahi. What's going on? Is it true what Ryan said? Someone died and you've been acting like some kind of detective? Uh, I've acted like a detective for years. Uh, I'll still figure things out. I don't know. I don't want to hear it. What were you thinking? It was bad enough you gave up your degree to become some low rent TV actress, but now this? Your father was here. Mom, Dick Stanford is dead. Are you going to help or not? <laughs> oh, is she going to be our sidekick? She's going to be our Watson? Hell yeah. But maybe I should go put Dick's flowers in some water. They're starting to wilt already. Don't touch anything! No! Oh god, get this asshole out of my sight. Gonna early be collecting flowers for a funeral, isn't it? I have some place else to be. I'm just here to watch a great detective at work. I'm not a detective, I just... Detect, in generally. Stay out of my way, okay? <laughs> Shall I engage the death beam? I don't even want to talk to him. Oh, now you want to talk to me? Uh... Bow tie? You know I don't wear those things. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything relevant here. Uh, I can't believe he called me out. Yeah, no, right. I didn't even tell mom about what happened. Yeah, I got, I, I got that impression. Real healthy relationship you've got there. As if you're kind of a, <laughs> if you're any kind of authority on what makes a healthy relationship, bitch. I don't know if you can hear me snapping. 
But I fucking... Fucking snapping up a storm over here. I'm just giving you a chance. A chance to do what? To screw up? Just do whatever you think is best here in the dino, remember? I don't know, they don't got look at you. If not, there's no shame in a minute, you need help. What do you think happened to Dick? It was on his mind. If that stage was almost anything to go, my pie went nuts and killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> you really think he would do that? Yeah, detective, you tell me. Who wanted to hurt Dick? No. But you have connections to people in the TV business. You may have heard something. Yeah, I know people, but I don't pay attention to industry drama. Baby, I am industry drama. People better be paying attention to me. All right. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, really? You're detecting something? What? How come? What are all these studs? Are those? Oh, yeah, those are in there. They just look weird in the, in the night vision camera. <laughs> Oh, there's something else. Oh, all right. Let's let's not go to the to the exact crime scene just yet. Four, four, seven. Uh, oh, this is, a, this is one of my favorite tricks. If there's a one and another number above it, and you have a situation like this, just put an X there. Because no matter what, there's gonna be an X there. Because if it's the one, it'll be here, and there'll be an X there. And if it's you know. And if this is the one, then it's surrounded by access, so you know. It's just, it's just a fun little quirky thing. Oh, that's a nine. Easy. Peasy. Lemon squeezy. Uh, let's see. Four. Three. Uh, three. Four. Booyaka, booyaka. I don't know what's with my Rey Mysterio impressions lately. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there we go, alright, so yeah, so that turned out to be a 3, and that was 1, there we go, uh, oh, and this has to be the 6, since there's 2 together, so that's, that situation there, nothing goes there, because the 4 can't fit there, uh, there can't be a 4 here, so that's the extent of it, Two, three, four, two, three. Uh, oh, so this has to be the six. Oh, baby. I'm so good, it hurts. Next there. Oh. Uh, this is a good one. I like this puzzle. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but they're a good pick cross puzzles and they're bad pick cross puzzles you know what I'm saying five that's everything there that's everything there uh did I mess something up I feel like I messed something up uh three four Uh, one, two, three, four. That's all X's. That's all fours. Nice. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, so I can't reach there. Uh, okay, there we go. So there's one here and a one here. But there's a two here, so that really narrows it down. Uh, one there, and there we go. What the heck is this? Sop. So for liquor spin. Get up, get a poisonologist on this shit. This dude was drugged and poisoned. All right, we're at an E rank. We got a bonus puzzle. Spill. I think it's just some kind of struggle, maybe. Hmm, smells like whiskey. Whiskey. Ah, uh, fermented grain liquor. I hardly know her. Pairs well with beef and wild mushrooms. Would you say this smells domestic or imported? This one you know so much about whiskey. I scanned a copy of Rise and Shine <laughs> magazine in the lobby earlier. Philip Marlowe's fascination with alcohols is finally starting to make sense. Seems like it was Dick Stanford's fascination too. He must have been drinking it before he went up for his award. Why would he be drinking? I can't believe we're really doing this. You can't 
but you know I'm good at finding things. Not just that, everything. We're doing detective work again. And we have two more cases to go after this one. I thought we were done after when we solved Blake's murder. That was just a one-off thing. We may have... We may, may not have been looking for a mystery to solve, but a mystery has found us. And besides, we still have the matter of my memory loss to solve. Oh, unless you think we should stop. Uh, I miss all the fun? Yeah. Might be able to crack this case before the cops even get here. Do you really think so? With you to help me? Why not? Besides, it would really annoy Ryan if we did. That's motivation enough for me. Yes, stick it to the Ryan. Fuck that guy. You can eat my pant. So I guess that means we're partners again. Just like in the movies. Here's looking at you, Scout. Oh, that's a Casablanca. Alright, let's investigate some more. Just double check. Oh god, I got if I can reposition my mouse and mind flood myself. Yeah. Alright, puzzle start. Uh, I don't know, the actual puzzle solving music is a little too calm for me. You know what I'm saying? Like... There's a, like a murder happened. Like a guy is dead. And you're gonna hit me with these kind of tunes? Like... Have a little respect for the recently deceased. There's nothing here, so there's nothing here. Uh, this crosses out a lot of options. Oh, there we go. Two, three, four. Oh. Three, four, five, three, three. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's a three. Nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, beautiful. Uh, there we go. I didn't even notice I got that three there. Uh, bow, bow. Quite enough to find the two there. Uh, oh, we got the four there, though. I like my puzzle music at tense. Exactly. This is no time to relax. We gotta hurry up before the cops show up. We got really gotta stick it to Detective. K Detective. What was his name? Detective. Start with a C. Nah, we'll run into him. He'll show up, he'll show up. He's gonna be so pissed when he sees us at the scene of another murder. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, this has to be the two, this has to be the one. Yeah, yeah. I could have deduced this earlier if I was Sherlock Holmes. Dude, Sherlock would be so good at pick Ross. <laughs> Let me tell ya. Uh, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, it's a handprint. <sighs> or just a hand. So, well, when you add the color, really, you really lose a lot, huh? <laughs> like what is this? <laughs> Honor, look at this. There's a handprint on Dick's neck. Oh, he was strangled. Mom did it. Strangulation. No breathing. Can't give a fuck if I cut myself bleeding. <laughs> this is my last resort. Air is important because it contains oxygen, which the brain requires to function, perhaps, and it's analogous to my primary bus being obstructed. Uh, maybe? 
that's everything from my quick scan. Should I make m a more detailed sweep? Oh yeah, I think we got enough to suggest what happened here. Oh, you have a theory already. I can't wait to hear it. Dick died of natural causes. I mean, yeah, Dick was Dick was murdered. Yeah, Dick was murdered. Someone must have been waiting for him backstage. The whiskey suggests he was drunk, so he couldn't put, have put up much of a fight. The killer only had to put his hands around his neck and lights out for Dick Stanton, Stanford, Stanton. Scout, was that a quip? It's a quote from all your detective novels, but I'm working on a routine to make my own. <laughs> I'm going to admit, I'm impressed. And I don't usually get impressed by women. No, really, it was bad if, uh, not bad for someone with no experience or training. Who knows, maybe this time we'll catch the killer before he jumps off a 10th floor balcony. People are dead, Ryan. And if you keep acting like this, oh, Detective Cross, there he is. Honor, what are you doing here? Uh... Just measuring Dick for a coffin. Uh, uh, we're trying to figure out what happened here. Oh, he's gonna be so pissed if I say this. Oh yeah, we're trying to figure out what happened here. <laughs> Thought I made it clear last time you were not a detective, but we. And as for this toaster of yours, <laughs> he's so detected. I've got no feelings, no intuition. It's got no feelings, no intuition. It undermines all the principles of good police work. It's a good police work is all about gut feel. Don't you at least want to hear what we found? Absolutely not. I've got a trained forensics team coming in. I can only hope you two idiots haven't contaminated the evidence. I got my crime scene. Huh. Huh. I wish I had a cool robot sidekick like Robocop. Uh, he didn't seem pleased with us. No, that's not going to stop us now, right? Right, let's find some more evidence. Don't don't question this idiot. Uh, oh, behind the ladder again? Is there another bow tie? Oh, fuck, what the hell? Alright, uh... Okay, not quite there. Uh, oh, no, then three, one, two, three, four. Oh, we know these are X's. Ooh, that gives me this shit. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, uh, three, uh, booyah. Ooh. Oh, heck yes. I hope that is correct. Uh,. Three, three, two, two, four. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and this is a four. One, two, three, four. That has to be the four. That has to be the two. Uh, one, two, three, four. All the way up to seven. Uh, now we got this four dog. Oh yeah, we're just working our way down. Just working the way down. Go, there we go. Oh. This is nice, just just going down the the puzzle, the length of it. Nope, there we go. That's a five. This is a three. This is a two. Uh, that's also a two. Uh, a lot of ones here that I don't like. They tell me nothing. Oh, here we go. Hold up. Uh, now this one. Hmm, it's unfortunate. Uh, can't really tell what this is yet. Hold on, one, 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 two. Okay, we have enough there. It doesn't tell me anything else beyond that. Come on, what am I missing? What am I missing? Come on, give it to me. Uh, oh, here we go. Yes. Okay. Wide open. Simply busted wide open. Uh, oh, that's a two. Oopsies. It's a uno. It's a two. Two. What is this? Uh, 
Hmm. How do I? Oh. Uh. Uh Oh this is this is fucking tough, dude. Oh no, here we go. Okay. That's actually the keys to the kingdom, I believe. So now we got oh wait, I should have known that three from a long time ago. Uh if it wasn't for my inability to see things. What am I missing here? Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm a fool. I'm simply a fool. There we go. What is this? It's, uh, celeb life. It's a fucking magazine. What's this gonna tell me? It's an old issue of celeb life. There's a feature on Dick Stanford. This must have been written just after he retired. Looks like a typical puff piece. <laughs> All about what a great guy he is. Something for your database, Scout. Gossip magazines like Celeb Life are total garbage for people that don't have lives themselves. Oh, he's scanning it. I have added this to my database. Thank you, Honor. I hardly know her. That's weird. The last page has been torn out. Well, it's left here. The first two words. However, rumors. Oh! I wonder what the rest of the article I wonder what the rest of the article said. Does this idiot know? Can can this guy be useful? The mule cops are finally here. You ready to let them take over now? Not just yet. Uh, according to this magazine article, there was some kind of rumor going around about Dick. Do you happen to know about that? No. You know I keep out of all that showbiz drama. Mm, well, that's what you told me. I don't know if I believe you. Uh, what about Kathleen? What's your impression of Kathleen? I don't trust her. She's hiding something. You sure it's not just because she's smart and a woman? <laughs> I've got no problem with smart women. As long as they're not smarter than you. Are we still talking about Kathleen? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What do you think about Bobby Price? He looks nervous, doesn't he? Then again, I can't blame him. I hear his show is pretty close to getting cancelled. Did you know Dick personally? I met him a couple times. Can't say I liked him. The guy was always blowing his own horn. Really, I'm surprised you didn't get along. That sounds like you had a lot in common. Got him. Absolutely roasted. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely doing the voice of, uh, uh, what's his name from NADPOD? Uh, that rich elf. I forget his name offhand. Uh, no, no, offhand. Whoa, that was weird. I said offhand. Right as he said offhand. And I, I wasn't looking at the screen. That, that was creepy. That was weird. Uh, that's the thing about this town. You never really know anyone. Tell me about it. <laughs> Alright. You were no help, Ryan. Let's continue to investigate. Oh. Alright, wow. <laughs> Just a little bit to the left. Alright. Two, one, five. That sounds familiar because it's a combo. Uh, two, four, tres, dos, uno. Dale. Oh, yeah. Via has, has Josh been keeping up with his dales? You're starting to get the hang of it. Uh. Three, no, no, no. No! Yo, oh, 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 hold on, it's getting busted wide open. With what, sorry? <laughs> Remember how we were trying to get Josh to say Dale all the time? Well, and by all the time, I mean when we would have to sync up a, a movie on a streaming service. Go. Get a twofer, get a threefer, get a greeper. 
I also should probably make it known that I only know what a Greep is because of Josh. I don't, I don't actually partake in the Greeps. I ain't that kind of guy. That kind of thing just ain't my bag, baby. Headphones. Nope. No, he hasn't. Hip flask. Ooh, you don't want to see my flask where my hip be at. Hmm, smells just like the whiskey we found in Dick's dressing room. Do you think this was his hip flask? If it was, how did it get out here? Ho ho ho. Alright, Ryan, you love alcohol and being a piece of shit. What do you think? Get that away from me. Damn it, Honor, you know I can't sell the same the smell of whiskey. Why not? It's not. The week before we got married, you got wasted and crashed his dad's yacht into the San Diego Pier. I don't know what was worse the broken arm or the three day hangover. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, in that case, here, check out. Ugh, is that whiskey? You know I hate this stuff. Let's do this a couple more times. This, this, so I can really learn his lesson. Alright. Uh, anyways. That looks like everything here. Let's head back to the... Hmm, can we even head to the dressing room? Oh, okay. I, I can only question him? Hmm. Alright. All the people are gone. What if the killer got away? Not everyone. Bobby and Kathleen are over there. I guess the cops are focusing on anyone with the right connection to Dick. <laughs> Look at these fools. Alright, let's get some more evidence. Oh. oh I, like how, I do like how it X's out the zeros immediately. Holy fuck, what the hell is this though? Nope, that's one too many. This is nothing. Nice. Means I could do this. Means I could do that. There we go. Ooh. Uh, this is all filled out, thankfully. And this has to be the five. I don't know if it goes over here. Well, it can't go over here because this has to be the one and the two. Look at that. I'm a genius. Uh. Okay. Thank you, game, for pointing that out to me. That was very complicated. That was about to be very confusing. Uh, seven. Oh, and I got the five. Wow, this is a bit of a crazy puzzle. This is a wild one, Mr. Grinch. Uh, one, two, three, four. Nothing. Ah, get that, get get get. Get six out of the way. Two. One, one. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. Uh, four. Oh, yeah. Via, how's the root canal? When, when is that happening? <laughs> Keep me up to date on the root canal. God, even just the word root canal sounds so violent. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, oh, this has to be the four. Simply must be. Uh, I think this has to be the one. Really can't tell if the puzzles are getting harder or if I'm just getting better, you know, in line with the puzzle difficulty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so this is a two. So those are X's. Uh... This has to be the one, yeah, because the four has to fit there. Uh, what the hell is this? A microphone? Uh, a ladle? Uh, this is like a Rorschach test that I'm taking every time. 
you could probably learn a lot about me as a person just from my guesses on what this pick cross the picture is. this oh excuse me a wallet ooh with money with that green in there oh baby gotta love the green oh, must have dropped this without realizing it's nice real leather I wonder who it belongs to we should try to return it there's no idea inside just small bills and a check stub for fifty thousand dollars it was paid today but I can't see who it was paid to just an account number can I assume that your fa from your facial expression that $50,000 is a lot? That's a hell of a lot. Maybe even enough to kill for. Ooh. You know, I could be wrong, but I think Ryan used to have a lot like this. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, God. I got you now, bitch. You killed that man just to see if I could solve the crime. Hey, you found my wallet. Kind of noticing you wrote a, a big check today. You went through my stuff? Oh no, that's not his voice. Uh, you can't... <laughs> to get into it, you really just gotta do it. Uh, you just can't help checking up on me, can you? Don't flatter yourself. I want to see whose wallet it was. So, what was the money for? Nothing, just business. $50,000 of business? That's a lot That's a lot of nothing. I don't have to explain myself to you. What do you mean? I'm keeping the wallet. Get out of here. Go, go freak yourself, dude. This is evidence. No, I don't want it here. Main hall, main hall. All right, mother truckers. Let's start with Bobby. What? What? Hey, Dad. Oh, it's you. Sorry, this whole thing with Dick has got me <laughs> kind of bugged. Is it true what the guys? Uh, no, I'm slipping into Luigi. Is it true what you guys said up on stage? <laughs> you trying to find the killer? Uh, try to find out what happened to Dick. Trying to find out what happened to Dick. That dick. Just like you did back in your TV studio. Damn. From playing a detective to being a real one. That's a wild career change. I'm not exactly a real detective. I'm just trying to help. Oh, for sure. That's cool. Uh, but wait. You you don't think I did it, do you? I'm not like I'm not like that. Why would you throw? Why would I throw away my whole career just to murder some old guy? You and Dick didn't get along. It's no secret that you and Dick didn't get along. And when you left our table during the ceremony, you said you were going to give him a piece of your mind. Th that was just talk. Why would I pick a fight with Dick Stanford? Have you seen how jacked he is? If anything, he hated me for taking over his show. Uh, do you think if anyone else want? Do you know if anyone else wanted to hurt him? Probably a long list. He acts nice in public, but in real life, he's got a reputation. We talked to talk Kathleen. She put up with his grumpy ass for years. <laughs> or how about that chick who started screaming about how she would have won Best Actress, Becky? Much as I may dislike her, she's not a killer. You sure about that? She looked crazy enough to do anything. Pretty cute though. Yeah. Uh, did Kathleen not get along with Dick? Seemed kind of tense on stage. Uh, she had to work with Dick every day for almost 20 years. Wow. Wait, how old is she? <laughs> Forget tense. I'm surprised she's still sane. The girl who wanted, uh, the girl who wanted to win Best Actress was Becky Call. She plays the lead in my show Murder Miss Terry. Uh, I thought she looked familiar. She was pretty pissed about not getting that award. It was a big deal for her. I guess if anything could drive her to murder. People do crazy things sometimes. Make mistakes in the heat of the moment. It doesn't make them a bad person. Just a murderer. Hey, are you friends with her? I'd love to get her number. To to get her on call. On back talk, I mean, I bet she'd be a great guest. <laughs> you took over back talk, right? You took over back talk, right? Is that when your problems with Dick started? Y yeah, that asshole knows how to hold a grudge. I hadn't been on the air ten minutes. He already talking shit about me to the press. He's too flashy. He ruined the show. 
Sure, we updated things a little, but come on, man. That said, I hadn't changed since 1979. Can you just ignore him? Sure, but then the hate mail started coming in. He's got all these crazy fans. My ratings crashed. They are already talking about canceling the show. So your TV career was threatened by Dick. Would you say that made you angry? Yeah, I was pissed enough to kill a man. I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, I wanted to strangle him with my bare hands, but... I wouldn't kill the guy over it. Uh, what do you think about this lot? I don't know anything about that, sorry. Uh, hit flash. You recognize this hit flash? Is, is it yours? The dog is always <laughs> having them in movies. I've never seen one in real life. Uh, yes. Read the Celeb Life article about Dick? No, seeing this photo in front of the cover was enough to put me off. <laughs> Since there were some rumors going around about Dick, figures. A lot of my crew worked on his show with him. From what I hear, he wasn't exactly easy to work with. Oh yeah, I bet. Anything bad enough to that someone might have wanted to kill him? Sorry, I don't remember. Uh, handprints. We found handprints around Dick's neck. Someone strangled him. Doesn't narrow it down much, does it? After all, everyone here has two hands. Haha. <laughs> this is serious, Bobby. I know, I just, I get nervous. <laughs> Not because I'm guilty or anything. That Just the whole situation. Uh, whiskey. It must have been his. Uh, okay. All right, let's get let's talk to Kathleen. What's up, baby? Uh, what was your voice? Uh, I hear you're investigating what happened to Dick. I wish you the best of luck. Dick was strangled. <laughs> I don't mean the way a 13-year-old might strangle Dick. No, this uh, this is something else. I guess you've heard by now Dick was strangled. Oh, God, please, don't tell me anymore. I can hardly bear to think about it. How long do you work together? Oh, many years. I've heard people say it's hard to imagine there was a time before I was on the show. You weren't there from the start? I didn't join until the second season. They want someone who uh, could attract more viewers. <laughs> you should have seen the outfits they tried to squeeze me into. Hardly more than twin suits some days. That's terrible. That's television. I stood my ground. I like to think I made a difference. Yas, queen. Well, how was your relationship with Dick? Oh, we got on just fine. Really? When we met him, he was kind of an ass. This is Hollywood. Everyone has their problems. But I'm a professional. And people who complain get a reputation. Wow. Besides, no one wants to hear about backstage drama. They rather just relax and enjoy the show. Although, I don't think anyone was expecting the show they saw tonight. Uh, do you know Ryan Blackstock? He's on stage earlier. He was tall, blonde, and handsome. I was wondering what, who that was. Funniest thing, I saw him with Dick earlier today. They were getting lunch at Dylan's on Fairfax. Ho ho ho. Why would Ryan be getting lunch with Dick Stanford? Your guess is as good as mine, whatever it was. It was going very well. It seemed like they were arguing. Oh, it wasn't going very well. I wish I could tell you more, but I was in a cab at the time. I only caught a glimpse. You don't think it could be related to what happened to Dick, do you? Oh, she might be lying, though. You know how people be lying? Especially women. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bidding around. Her, her, her fit is dope, though. I got it. Uh, what do you know about Bobby Price? He's talented, but he's got big shoes to fill if he wants to keep hosting back talk. He doesn't seem too much of, of a fan of Dick. I never saw him die. Dick hated him, his show taken away from him, having his show taken away from him, and Bobby hated working in Dick's shadow. He did enough to kill Dick. Bobby's an ambitious, ambitious and impulsive. More than that, I can say. Uh, why are you showing me this? Why are you showing me that? Oh, she's going to tell something about the celeb life. Of course, Dick was very proud of his smart page billing. I'm guessing he was less happy when he saw how the article ended. Something about rumors? We're still missing that part of the article. Let me guess, the entire last page was torn out? Dick did that to every copy he could get his hands on. He never could take criticism very well. Personally, I don't think it's good that these magazines do a little digging occasionally. Call it investigative journalism if you like. So you think there's some truth to the rumors they printed? Can you tell us more about what they were? Uh oh, hey, come on. Wait, well, oh, what, what is this? Sorry, I'd love to talk, but I have to take this. <laughs> I know there's been a murder and all. Is it, oh, are you not going to tell me about the fucking... Uh, Trunk is a sailor. 
Is there a chance that this blast belonged to anyone else? We should investigate every possibility. Well, it could be Bobby's. I've heard he started drinking to cope with the stress. The production team aren't too happy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We got you now, bitch. Sorry, I don't recognize it. Mahi Pais has a drinking problem? You don't deny it, I'm sure, but I've heard plenty of stories. A way to calm his nerves, supposedly. What do you think he's nervous about? Oh, the usual murder, murder, and more murder. Uh, and now a murder, too. <laughs> Alright. Uh, present evidence. Hit flask. Hit. Oh. Hmm. I've seen Dick with a hit flask backstage. It's probably his. Huh. I don't know. You're acting a little sus, Dick. You better, you best tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, I heard Dick was arguing with Ryan uh, Blackstock earlier today. Do you know him? Ryan who? Sorry, I don't know the guy. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Save it up, save it up, save it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Save it up, save it up, save it up. Here I am. Doing everything I can. Oh yeah, let's fucking... Detective Cross, you're still you still here? What did forensics find? We're still waiting on blood tests, but in my professional opinion, Dick Stanford was strangled to death. Oh yeah, we we yeah, we knew that already. <laughs> oh, well we also found whiskey spilled on the floor, a telltale sign of a struggle. Oh baby. Yep, uh yep, we knew that too. Jesus H Christ. How about the door handle? Ooh, I guess we missed that one. Aha! See? That's why you should leave this to the professionals. We know to check for prints. You found prints? That's great. <laughs> well, not exactly. The handle was wiped clean. Ooh, sm smells like the killer cleaned it with the whiskey. Alcohol. Alcohol. Uh, <coughs> oh, God. I'm getting mind flooded. The alcohol would have acted as a solvent. A very effective solution. Let me get this straight. The only new thing you found is... There, where some fingerprints used to be. <laughs> uh, look, it's not about who found what. It's about coming to a right conclusion. And that takes experience, expertise, and intuition. You want conclusions? We've already got two suspects, Bobby Price and Ryan Blackstock. Is that so? What's your evidence against Bobby? Uh, huh. Magazine article? Hit flask? Strangulation marks. It's not really strangulation. I think it's a hit flask. We found his hip flask backstage. It contains the same whiskey as we found on the crime scene. Now, I've heard Bobby Price has a drinking problem. Interesting. He needs more evidence to back that up, but that's a good start. What about your other suspects? What's that silver spoon Blackstock kid got to do with this? Ryan Blackstock was seen arguing with Dick this afternoon. Not much on its own. But he also signed a check today for $50,000. Hmm. Bodies have a nasty habit of showing up where there's that much money at stake. And Ryan isn't exactly trustworthy. Oh, you know him? He's my ex-husband. He's a manipulative and an ass. <laughs> I'm going to assume he picked that up from you. What can I say? He's a fast learner. Okay, I'll admit, you found a couple of good leads. I'll follow up on them just as soon as I finish my report. Uh, can we at least keep looking for more evidence? No way. You're lucky I don't arrest you right now for interfering in an investigation. Now get out of here, will you? I can't afford to lose any uh, more liabilities. The captain's got me under microscope with this on this one. All right, can I go to the main hall? No, where? Hold on. I wanna. I wanna find Ryan. Oop. I thought I told you leave you alone. You know you're starting to become predictable, detective. And you're starting to become a real pain in my ass. You want some, or are you just here to bug me? I uh. Honor's mother dropped her bag in here earlier. We'd like to look for it. Your mother, huh? It, yeah, her bag. That's why we're here. All right, but do it quietly. I've got paperwork to finish. Good thinking, Scout. Since when do you know how to lie like that? It was one of the many things I learned from those detective movies, along with the snappy one-liner subroutine I mentioned earlier. <laughs> You'll have to show me that later. Right now, we got better look for clues. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're investigation. No breathing. All right. Uh, hold on. How does it? 
Uh, not exactly. Almost, almost. Ooh, but this is, ah, uh, almost. No, I didn't mean it. Okay, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. ooh, I think one, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, one is pretty good. Come sail away, come sail away. I think it has to be like that. Well, no, it doesn't have to be like that. I lied. I lied. What can I say? I'm a, I'm, I'm one who fibs. Okay. It's definitely an X though. Definitely some X's there. Just barely some cross over here. You gotta take every inch you can get if it cross. You gotta turn those inches into miles though. Uh, God, I'm getting sweaty from all this pit cross. It's so intense. Uh, yo, what the fuck? This puzzle is tough. Hold on, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just a fool. I'm just a fool. This is actually the easiest puzzle of my life. Uh, yeah, queen. <laughs> uh. You know, I surprise myself sometimes with how good I am at Picross. Yeah, that's a one. Oh, it's a cheeky little solution here. Yes, yes, it's all coming together. Exercising your brain, yeah, it's good for me. For sure, it's good for me. My brain can use the exercise. I mean, not that this is, you know, using a lot of my brain power anyways, because like this is so baby easy. Because I'm like, because, so, so, you know, I, I know my stuff. Uh, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. What is this? It's a, it's a fish. It's a, it's a, it's a marionette. It's castanets. He was a, he was a flamenco dancer. I think I busted this case wide open. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's two. That's a two. There's my three. Uh, it has to be the two. Oops. Oopsies. Uh, it has to be the two. It has to be the one. It has to be the two. There's the one. Booyaka, booyaka. I did it. What? It's a penny. It's a coin. It's a medallion. Ah, I should have known. He was a gold medalist. He was an Olympic swimmer. Nice. It's some kind of coin, but I don't recognize the currency. That's not a coin, that's a medallion. We give these to recovering alcoholics. And according to the engraving, Dick Stanford's been sober for 40 years. If that's true, the spilled whiskey must belong to the killer. Yo, and more investigations? Yo, these are some big clues. Nothing. Oh, here it is. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Like, listen to these tunes. What are we playing? I, th I thought we were solving a mystery, not playing fucking Candy Crush Saga. Uh, okay, so that could be the three. Uh, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit of overlap. Doesn't really tell me anything. Oh, but what about this three, three, four? No, not nearly enough. Uh, uh, no. Uh, this is very tricky. This is a tricky bench. God, this puzzle's so long. Uh, oh crap. I'm at a loss, brothers. If I'm, if I'm real with you. Two. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Huge, huge, huge. Well, not super huge. Oh, actually huge, because this gives me this, which gives me this, which gives me this. Uh, which tells me nothing. Oh, no, it gives me this, because this has to be the two. The one has to be somewhere around here. Yes! Yes! 
Can this be the one? Oh, this can't be the one. What the fuck? Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> that was a gimme the whole time. Uh, you know what I was thinking about the other day? Uh, the fucking Goosebumps choose your own adventure books. I remember I, I, I had my first, I read my first choose your own adventure book like in third grade. Like, my third grade teacher just had like a shelf of, uh, of all sorts of random books. And one of them was a choose your own adventure book. I don't know why. I think it was, I think it was pretty violent actually. <laughs> I think it was like a, like it's sort of like a Dungeons and Dragons thing. Like you were a knight, you were going into a cave. And I definitely did not know what was going on, but definitely I got killed. And I was like, what? I died in this book, and it was it was it was life changing. If I'm being real, it definitely has left its impression on me. Uh, take on me, take on. Can this be the three? No, it can't be the three. There we go. Yeah, I just gotta buckle down and actually count. Uh, speaking of counting, though, the Count Von Count from Sesame Street is not a vampire, apparently. I learned that from, uh, from, uh, um, actually. He is vampire-like. He has vampire qualities, but he's not actually an honest-to-goodness vampire. Probably because it would scare children. Uh... And here I thought he was like a, he was working for a big vampire, you know, to, to, to <laughs> teach kids about vampires and how they're not that bad, you know. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, this is the two, but it could be here. Here, potentially? Oh, hold on. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, nice. Oh, I should have known that. I should have known, should have known, should have met me. Oh, here we go, goes. Oh, I need one more, like, summer bat here. Uh. Oh, wait, I know this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Uh, oh, come on, uphill. One, two, three. Ooh, come on. Help me out of your game. Uh, and by that I mean don't help me out here. I don't need your help. Two. Okay. Doesn't learn me much. Oh, oh. Give me the juice. Oh, here we go. Okay. Once again, not super helpful. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. Yes, very helpful. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Yarshi blows. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yes. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. Uh, <laughs> this music is not helping. Please. I'm trying to focus now. I'm just getting mind flooded. Uh, two, four, three. Oh, there's a five. What is this? An egg? Dude, that apple never came up from that last chapter. We found an apple in the fridge like right away. Irrelevant. Fully irrelevant to the investigation. I don't know how it could be relevant, but you know. It was, a, it was a red herring. It was literally a red herring. Well, not literally, literally, but it was red. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Be da dee da dee. People on the street. There we go. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> a PDA. Oh, personal uh, dick advice. Uh,. This must belong to Dick. Looks like it's got password protected. Can you hack into it, Scout? Oh! Sorry, Honor. It's a little embarrassing, but I don't have the right cable. 
You can only interface with devices bearing an RS-232 port. This device's interface is proprietary. I need some kind of adapter to connect to a PDA. You can't have, I can't access the data without it. Got it. Well, let me know if you see one around here. Then we found everything we can in here, at least while Cross is watching. Password protected PDA on the medallion. Is that enough to crack the case? I don't know. The PDA. I don't know about the PDA, but the medallion definitely raises some interesting questions. If Dick doesn't drink alcohol, then the whiskey and the hit flask was spilled from is a direct link to the killer. I think we have a pretty good idea who it belongs to. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, Bobby Price. Bobby Price. What are you two, yeah, what are you two yammering about? I don't mind you looking for your mom's bag, but can't you do it quietly? We, uh, we just found it, actually. <laughs> we'll get out of your hair. Enjoy your paperwork, detective. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> I, I will enjoy my paperwork. Ah, oh, she's so much like him, he said. What? But you look like you lost something. Need any help? But oh hi, lost something? No, nothing. Are you sure I can find anything? It's cool. It's cool. It's just uh, trying to find the men's room. I thought you said you weren't looking for anything. <laughs> I guess I did. Anyway, uh, I'll I'll just be. I'll oh, shoot him in the face. Fucking pull out your gun. Well, that was weird. That's our lead suspect. All right, fucking take it easy. Alright, hold on before anything, because I think it might be, because the only reason we know, you know, I got a feeling Bobby really was looking for something. Do you think there's evidence hidden here? It doesn't hurt to look around. Because Kathleen is the only person, is the only reason why we think that the flask belongs to Bobby. You know? But she could be lying to us. It wouldn't be the first time a woman lied to me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that sounds like it has some sort of deep connotations. It doesn't. That was just me joking. That was just a, that was just a classic joke. Three, two, well, smooth operator. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, this is huge though. It's gotta be the three. It's gotta be the three. If that ain't the three, then that you know, hog time me and call me a swine. Uh, ba, ba, ba. two, two, three. Ooh, that actually gives me a lot. Uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, well, it turns out it doesn't give me much. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, and then the two has to go here. That's a one for sure. That gives me a three, the two. Okay, probably gives me the two. Okay, we're we're absolutely pogging. We are the one who pogs. Uh, can't go here. There's my four. There's my twos. Where my twos at? Twos in the house represent. Okay, four. That's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Uh. Booyah. Booyah. Who is it? Oh, oh, yeah. I'm thinking of Bingo. When uh, Botan from Yu Yu Hakusho says Bingo. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> what a weird catchphrase. And then Dante from Devil May Cry, he says he says jackpot is what he always says. Oh, what is this? Uh, this could be anything, dog. Handkerchief. Excuse me. Silk handkerchief. That's weird, and kind of gross. Perhaps Bobby dropped it when he left. Maybe. He doesn't strike me as a silk handkerchief kind. What do these embroidered letters indicate? Don't sneeze. DS. Scout, that must belong to Dick Stanford. But Dick died in his dressing room. What's his handkerchief doing here? Hmm, why does it smell like whiskey? Huh. 
All right, he's still here. That's good. We'll save. We'll save it up. Save it up. Save it up. Just so I don't mess it up. Okay. 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 Question this idiot. Uh, show him the flask again. Do you recognize this flask? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. You told us this hit flask was Dix, but he hasn't had a drink for over 40 years. What? What? Well, they must belong to someone else. What about that Ryan guy? You can't pin this on me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, uh, handkerchief. Oh, where, where'd you get that? Found it in the main hall, right where you were standing earlier. It, it's not mine. I know. The monogram says it was Dick's. That's great. I mean, that's great detective work. Weird thing is, it smells of whiskey. M maybe you like the smell? Scout, would you mind joining me in the dressing room for a second? Why, Honor? I hardly know her. Y yes, let's go. <laughs> but bye then. Hmm. Is this going to be another red herring situation, though? Who knows? Are you ever going to let me finish this damn report? You don't need to. You got all the evidence you need. You've been investigating. Do you realize how much danger you're putting yourself in? There's a strangler out there. I don't know, but we think it's Bobby Price. He wanted revenge uh, on Dick for sabotaging his TV career. Dick hated him for taking over Backtalk. He used his influence to attack Bobby in the press. Bobby's ratings hit rock bottom. He's on the verge of cancellation. And tonight, Bobby... I had to sit and watch this guy who was ruining his career get a lifetime achievement award. That pushed him over the edge. He waited backstage for Dick to go to his dressing room, and then he strangled him. It's a nice theory. The only thing tying Bobby to this room is that hit flask, and he says it belongs to Dick. That's where our new evidence comes in. Uh. Uh. Medallion and handkerchief. We found Dick's sobriety medallion. He's been sober for over 40 years, which means... Which means Bobby was lying. The fl hit flask is his sobriety medallion. Where the hell did you find that? In here, detective. Uh-oh. <laughs> In here? You said you were looking for a handbag. Yes, yeah, Scout. We did say that. It's not about who found what. It's about coming to the right conclusion. What a load of crap. Where'd you learn that? Amateur Detective Monthly? You said it earlier this evening. <laughs> uh, well, you can't just... <laughs> can't believe I'm getting outsmarted by a toaster oven. He actually only does bagels, weirdly. Which brings me to the issue of Dick's handkerchief. When we found Bobby backstage, he was clearly looking for something. So we had a look in the main hall around where Bobby was standing. We found a silk handkerchief that wasn't there earlier. Sniff. Hmm. This that thing stinks of booze. I think something happened to make Bobby nervous. Really nervous. So nervous he needed to drink to calm his nerves. Yeah, oh, the handkerchief was used to wipe the... Wipe the doorknob, that's right. You think he killed Dick. He has the means, the motive, and the opportunity, but he didn't prepare for how it would affect him. He was shaking so bad he dropped his hip flask. And what about the handkerchief? He just killed Dick and spilled it everywhere. He was uh, desperate to clean up the ovens and get out before anyone found him. So he grabbed the nearest piece of cloth and used it to mop up the spill. And the fingerprints on the doorknob as he left. Yes! I'll be damned, it all fits. Not bad for an amateur, right? Uh, if it wasn't for this goddamn report, I... Oh, <laughs> to hell with the paperwork. I think it's about time we had a chat with Bobby Price. But don't start congratulating yourself just yet, Ms. Rahi. This isn't over. Yeah, it's only been two hours. No, I think the last investigation also took us... So it took us like two hours and 30 minutes, the first case. So that's the evidence against you. Anything to say for yourself? I, I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to talk to him. You call that talk? I'm guessing you didn't like his answer. I didn't get an answer. He came backstage with his award and completely ignored me. Walked straight past like I didn't even exist. I put it with a lot of crap since I took over back talk. It was too much. I busted down his door and... But I didn't want to kill the guy. I just this got carried away. So I swear, I barely touched him. Not knowing your own strength is no defense against murder, Mr. Price. I'm taking you in. Ooh, but what if he wasn't strength? What if he was poisoned? Don't go anywhere, Ms. Rai. We still need to talk about this detective hobby of yours. Whatever, man. He's just mad that we fucking figured it out. 
Is Detective Cross still here? No, you just missed him. He left with Bobby. What's up? An urgent package arrived for him. I told the police officer I would give it to Detective Cross personally. They just let you have it? I told them I'm Detective Cross's new personal assistant. They seemed impressed. <laughs> I think I prefer when you didn't know how to lie. What was the delivery? I'm not sure, but it must be important. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This case isn't over yet, bruvs. Uh, okay, I know that. So I know this. So I know this. I know this. I know... One, two, three, four. I know that's nothing. Uh, we got a six here. We got a seven here. Hmm. We got a three here. Good. Uh, we got a four piece. Chicken McNugget. Uh, dude, four McNuggets is like nothing, right? Like I can I can scarf down ten McNuggets comfortably, and if I'm really hungry, twenty. But like, I don't know. No adult person is ever ordering like a six piece chicken McNuggets, right? That's that's nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Uh, nothing here. One, two, three, four. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two, three, four. Some X. Oh, there we go. There we go. No. <laughs> Maybe Tanner. What? No, Tanner eats fucking five hot and spicies. That man could devour four chicken McNuggets in one bite. Like. There's no way those would satisfy him like a Snickers bar might. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Yes, I didn't have to count out this whole row. Thank God. Would have been a nightmare. Ooh. Heck yeah. I never know what that kid... What are you talking about? He is an enigma. One, two, three, four. But like... That dude loves Chicken McNuggets. Well, I don't know if he loves Chicken McNuggets. I think like most people, he'd rather much have a, a hot and spicy chicken sandwich, you know? Because they're delicious. And for such a great price, too. Now we're at McDonald's. ba da ba ba, -ba I'm loving it. Uh, two for, two for, two for, one for, one for, one for, one, two, three, four, five for... Uh, ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm so good. This mac and cheese is a little sussy. <laughs> Don't say sussy because then when I read it, I has, I have to say sussy. So you you fucking got me into saying sussy, and I don't like it. Uh, sussy. <laughs> I hate that half of sussy is sus and the other is, well, the other majority of the word is ussy. It's just, it's just a culmination of the worst words possible. It's a burrito. Well, it could have been a burrito. A blood test. Oh, it came back already. What the fuck? Yeah, we only got a D. There's got to be way more to this case. This must be the forensic report Cross was waiting for. Oh my, if I'm reading this right, then these blood results mean... What? What does it mean? That he was drinking? This changes everything. Yeah. What changes everything? <laughs> yeah. If his blood alcohol comes back... Detective Cross, where's Bobby? I'm talking to his lawyer, why? Dick's blood test came back and... Well, see for yourself. Why do you have this blood test? I don't believe this. This says, and that means... Bobby Price couldn't have killed Dick Stanford because he was already dead. 
It's like a, it's like the episode of Smiling Friends. Suspicious Sue st stared too long at the stew. Why would you say these things? Uh, I don't understand. Bobby confessed. The robot's got a point. And there were strangulation marks on Dick's throat. I never said Bobby was lying. He did strangle Dick, but that wasn't what killed him. According to his blood test, I mean, you'd still probably get some jail time, right? For attempted murder, even though <laughs> the person was already dead? Like, <laughs> like, are you going to let someone get away with that? According to his blood test, Dick was poisoned. Yes, I knew it. I fucking called it. I called it immediately. He died before Bobby even laid a finger on Tell me Bobby Price strangled a corpse? Hmm. I mean, whatever gets you going. Uh, I don't even know if that's illegal or not. <laughs> But that means whoever killed Dick is still loose. Oh, you know what they say about poison. It's a, a woman's weapon. Fuck, I hate that I know that people say that. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's it's from Game of Thrones. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know I heard that somewhere. Not for long. We've got that whole building on lockdown. Whoever it is, we've got them cornered. That means there's still time. Let's go. Uh, lol. <laughs> Wait a second. How did you get out of the building? One of your officers thinks I'm your personal assistant. <laughs> Gee, I don't know how they got that idea. <laughs> you know, you two make a great argument for early retirement. <laughs> Alright. What happens to Bobby now? He's out on bail. One of the benefits of being a TV star, I guess. Good lords. So he's gone? What if we still need to question him about something? He's not going anywhere. Uh, one of the conditions of his bail is that he cooperates with the investigation. Don't forget, I've done this a hundred times. I know what I'm doing, unlike you. <laughs> Detective, I saw you take Bobby Price into custody. I always knew he was trouble. Uh, in that case, I'm sorry to disappoint you. He's innocent. Innocent? Are you sure? Uh, I found the evidence, Mom. Uh, myself, Mom. Dick was poisoned. Uh, but don't worry, we'll catch the real killer soon. I've just had enough of this. How many times do I have to tell you you are not detectives? But I, I don't want to hear it. I, I let it slide when it was about your friend. But this, you're out of your depths, Ms. Rahi. Yeah, we well, still haven't seen Becky. Is she still in the bathroom? Does she even know all this is happening? You really want to help? Here's a job for you. A hot pink 4x4 was double parked out front. It was getting towed as we arrived. Why don't you find the two... Why don't you two... Use those detective skills to find the owner. They need to go to collection. <laughs> Collect it from the impound lot. I knew Mr. Rita solve. <laughs> Forget about it, Scout. He's just trying to keep us out of his way. You're damn right I am. You think this stupid car is more important than finding a murderer? Absolutely not. But it's the only thing I'm <laughs> going to let you investigate around here. Take it or leave it. Perhaps we should just investigate the car owner. Whose side are you on? Uh... You even got your first piece of evidence. They checked inside before it got towed and found something on the dash. Let me take a look. Oh, baby. Yo, this is going to tie into the murder. It just has to. Uh, well, this is a 15 by 15. Is this the first one of these we've done? Uh, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, we already got a row or a column. Oh, yeah. So when, yeah, this game lets you, I, I figured out why this game feels weird. It lets you X out, like, in whatever random bullshit, you know, direction you're going. In uh, most Picross games, when you, like, click an X and then drag down, like, even if you go off to the left a little bit, the, the Xs will still be in that same column. Well, that's why it feels weird. Okay, okay. Uh, can't put the 5 on this side, so the 5 has to be on this side. 3, 2... No, it's gotta be Becky's car, right? Like, oh, whoops, that's not what I want. Uh, oh, wow. Already got so many columns done. Uh, four has to be here. That's huge for me. I love that for me. Uh, two, three. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, heck yeah. Three, five, four. Yeah, what is this? 
whatever it is, it's very angular along the edges. Is that another rectangle thing that's got its corners chopped off? I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to Jesus H. Christ. Uh, I two can't fit here. Ooh yeah. Bada bing, baby. Give me another one here. Rhombus. <laughs> yeah, I hate. Um, I fucking hate a rhombus. One, two, three, four. Look at this. Oh no, it's a fucking. It's not even as cool as a trapezoid. Uh. Yeah, dude, trapezoid has the word zoid in it. Like, how can it not be the coolest thing? The coolest shape? Uh. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Uh. No, two doesn't go here. Let's be another one here. Closes out this one. Uh, stuck in the middle. Zoid is a pretty. Zoid is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, I mean it's also uh, the name of uh, some toys, some uh, some like Gundam things. I know Luke has a lot of Zoids that he collects, and they look like cool fucking robot panthers. Gonna be starting something. Got to be starting something. You're stuck in the middle. Uh, I shouldn't sing Michael Jackson. I'm gonna get banned by fucking Twitch. Yeah, Michael Jackson's people are famously litigious. Oh, it's a fucking envelope. Ooh, with a wax seal? What the heck? Oh, C rank. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, this chapter's gonna be a lot longer. Uh, uh -huh. It seems to be a letter. Great. A new lead in the most pointless errands ever. <laughs> if Detective Cross won't let us investigate the murder, we don't have to give up. We should focus on what we can do instead. He only gave us this dump job because he wants us out of his hair. How does that help? That might be what he intended, but we can still use it to our advantage. He's given us a chance to show what we can do. You're right, Scout. Up until now, he's always been there. But now we can prove that we can handle something without any help. A Gundam building stream would be rad? Yeah, I just need to get a Gundam. <laughs> I, I've already built the only two I have. Nothing we can't handle. We're a team, after all. So what do you say? Uh, I can't make it to the awards tonight, sweetie. Your idiot father is remodeling the kitchen again. Oh, I hope this cute car makes up for it. Lots of love, Mom. <gasps> it's Pinky. I've got a pretty uh, good idea of who this belongs to. Yes. Just one second, honey Mizrahi. Honey Mizrahi? What? I'm losing my mind. I'm going dyslexic. Honor Mizrahi, you're not going anywhere until we talk about this detective nonsense you've gotten yourself into. Sorry, Mom. You heard Detective Cross. We have to find out who owns that car. Oh, don't worry about him. He understands the situation perfectly well. Okay, uh, yeah, let's, I mean, can we question these holes? So, you're doing detective work now? Uh, let's show you, uh, did you read The Celeb Life? Of course. I don't normally read TV magazines, but I saw Dick Sanford on the cover. At the end of the article, they make some rumors about Dick. But someone tore the rest of the article out of the magazine. Good. Dick had enough problems to deal with. Those tabloid parasites should <laughs> be more careful about what they print. Alright. Uh... Okay. I think that's all she's got. Uh, what is this bow tie? Oh yeah, I should read some of the flavor text on this. I was on the dash of a pink car just before it was towed away. Can I get to the rewards tonight, sweetie? Uh, according to this, he was poisoned. He was poisoned. Disassemble it, you're gonna and do it again. God, disassembling is such a, those parts are are made to fucking stick together. Taking them apart. I, I know taking them apart is hard because I fucked up on the on the head of one. I put a piece on backwards and fucking prying that bitch apart was a nightmare. About this whole detective thing. It's it's hard to explain. But why? 
Why do this? You had the job you wanted on the stupid TV program. I lost that job, Mom. Someone wanted me off the show so bad that Blake got killed over it. I can't go back. So find another show. There must be others. God knows there's enough crap on TV these days. You should be happy. You never wanted me to be an actress anyways. Happy? Maybe that you're risking your neck chasing down murderers? Uh, you're damn right. I don't agree with it. Have you lost your mind? Try everything that's happened to your father. Oof. How can you say that? Oh. Turns out Dick was poisoned. Is that my love for Honor, stop. But you love Dick Sanford. Well, don't you want justice for him? Of course I do. But not from you. I heard Detective Cross, if you want to investigate something, you find out who got that car. Okay. The mom did it. Oh, yeah. She wanted Dick all to herself. <laughs> so she sent him to hell. Where they can someday be together forever. Uh, damn, I'm gonna get down the road. He spent his whole life chasing criminals. Like, what where that got him? Don't you dare try to tell me what you wanted. I knew him a lot longer than you did. You know what? You're right. I didn't know Dad very well. He never talked to me. Don't be ridiculous. He talked to you. You know lots of things there. You read to you every night. I know. Philip Marlowe, Sherlock Holmes, Payrot. He introduced me to all the great detectives, but never himself. Ah, that's not his fault. Sorry enough for him to talk to me about his work. You were just a kid. He was my dad. Didn't I deserve a chance to know him? All I have left is the fiction. It's not the same. Oof. Damn. You can't put yourself in danger just to feel closer to your father. Focus on the memories he left you. The photographs. That's why he gave me the locket. I should have given it to you sooner if I know what you were doing. It's good to see dad at the Brown Derby again. Did you take the photo? Me? I never went to the Brown Derby. A restaurant that looks like a hat? Damn fool idea if you ask me. <laughs> I was not there with his work friends, captains, his partners. Wait, dad had a, par had a partner? Forget about it, it's not important. Oh, dad had a partner. Of course he had a partner. He was a police, you know, on the police force. So in contact with him, if anyone could understand what I'm doing, it'd be dad's partner. It'd keep you safe. If I would have wanted. Oh, ho, ho, I think I might know who the father is, or who the father's friend is. <laughs> Very different things. Uh... He's a listener. She's only got your safety in mind. I'm not interested in your evidence, Mr. Rahi. You're, oh, okay, okay. Finding my dad's partner. That's why I might have a partner in the LPD. Do you know how to find them? Sorry, I'm homicide, not missing persons. I know, I just... If you can find them, you might be able to tell me about my dad. I make a point not know people these days. Makes the job easier. Yeah, I found my dad outside his favorite restaurant. Can you at least show it around the station? Look here, there are a lot of cops in the forest. The Brown Derby is a popular place. I can't... Oh, ho, 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 ho. I, I didn't mention the Brown Derby. Yo, that's a classic fucking thought trap. You idiot, you walked right into that. You call yourself a detective? Give me your badge and your gun, bitch. I didn't know it was my dad's favorite restaurant. But like I said, it was a popular place. Like, yes, I don't know, it was a small world. Wait a second, I never noticed before, but the photo in the locket is folded in half. <laughs> oh, that's also a classic. Let's gotta take a look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck, can I do that? Two, two, one, one, two. Oh, not quite. Uh, oh, surely this is one. One, one, two, two, one, two, three. Oh, just barely, just barely got one out of there. Uh, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, four, two, seven. Yeah, that's one. For sure, for sure. For show, for show. Nope. Uh, four, four, five, three, six, four. Yeah, it wasn't exactly a well kept secret, but damn, do I love the reveal. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes, this has to be, yes. There we go. Uh,. Got so much drama happening. One, two, three, four. This is a visual novel. Uh. This is also like my first visual novel I've ever played. Uh. I was never one for the genre. But if they if they sneak in some Picross, so you know I'm playing it. Hold on. I was about to say there's there's been a dearth of, of Picross games lately, but what's dearth? I always forget what dearth is. Uh, a, th a scarcity or lack of something. Okay, okay. It's, it's what I thought it was. Good. 
yeah. I don't know. People just haven't discovered how beautiful Picross is. You know? Uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. Uh, doesn't tell me much. Uh, but one, two, three. Yes. yes. He's done it. He's cracked the Da Vinci Code. Uh. Booyaka, booyaka. 619, hey. Yeah, 619 is the area code for LA, so it is it is thematic, right? Is it because, you know, what? <laughs> yeah, speaking of LA, holy shit. Uh, is it, is it part, I don't know, uh, something at the disco? Panic at the disco? Did they do? Yes, it is Panic at the Disco that made Dying in LA. I fucking hate that song. <laughs> When you're dying in LA. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that song with a passion. Yes. <laughs> oh lord. Oh god. What what are they doing, dude? Holy crap, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Tanner? Let me tell you something about Tanner. He loves that song. Only reason I know about it is because it's on his freaking Spotify playlist. That hoser. Oh man. All right. I mean, I, I'm sure I already pissed off all the all the Swifties, so it's only fair that I also piss off all the Panic at the Disco folks. God. Ah. Yeah, those guys are. I'm not a huge fan of Panic at the Disco in general. Let me just get that straight. Let me just straighten that out. Hit you with the facts. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't reach here. Well, can't fit there anyways. Oh man, but what other songs do they do? Uh. You can always tell it's Panic at the Disco too, just from the the lead singer has the same cadence in every song. Uh, can't trust what Tan. <laughs> True, you never know what that motherfucker is up to. Uh, uh go easy on him though. He's got sicknesses, you know. <laughs> That, that boy ain't right on a chemical level. On a on a purely biological level. Uh I'm glad he's not here to listen to me roast his ass. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a sweetheart. It's just that sometimes his tastes are whack, you know? And we gotta put him in his place, like as as his friends, we gotta be like, hey motherfucker, cut that shit out. <laughs> Before you hurt yourself. And by hurt yourself, I mean we hurt you. Uh, okay, there we go. So questionable at times. Yeah. Look at this photograph. Heck yeah. I, I don't believe it. You're in this photo. You're right next to my dad. Hoof. Fine. Yes, I worked with your father for 10 years. We were partners. You knew. All this time you knew who I was? Not at first. I hadn't seen you since you were a baby. Joshua always tried to keep work and family separate. But when I saw you working to solve the case, it all clicked. It was like seeing him alive again after all these years. Oh. Yeah, we stand tan. Yeah, we simply must stand tan. Like, he's, he's legitimately quirky. Like... You know, and it's not just because of the mental, <laughs> because of the mental situation. It's not just because he's been diagnosed, you know? Well, he's, it's probably not just because he's diagnosed, you know? Like, hey, like what? Oh, hey, you know who you remind me of? My dead partner. Besides, it was never the right time. I need you to respect me as an officer of the law, not one of your dad's old friends. I, I thought you hated me. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble. Joshua saved my ass so many times out on patrol. The least I can do is return his favor for his daughter. 
You were there when when he yep, when he got shot right between the eyes. I'll never forget it. It was like some shit off a of RoboCop, but like when that guy when the RoboCop dies, you know when he gets shot a bunch. It was like that. Look, maybe I can't stop you from trying to be a detective. God knows nothing could stop Joshua once he had to lead. So go right ahead. Look for evidence. Question people. I won't stop you, but I'm watching you like a hawk. As soon as I think you're going too far, as soon as I think you're in real danger, it ends. Do you understand me? I, I think that. I don't think... <laughs> I didn't ask you what you think. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Good. I don't hate your honor. I get what you're trying to do, but I have to make sure you don't get yourself in above your head. I owe him that much. How did you... Her name is Honor. Who else is named Honor? Are you okay? Yeah, it was just a lot of information. What happened to your father? Well, have you ever seen Robocop? <laughs> Mom never told me the details. You just, oh, I swear to God, if Scout is her dad in a computer, yo, then it is exactly like Robocop. You were left with a blank space in your past, I understand. Detective Cross may be able to give you some answers. Didn't you hear what he said? He doesn't want to talk about it. Paw. Not yet, but give. Uh, but he gave us permission to keep investigating. He may be coming around. I don't know. He wasn't exactly enthusiastic. Seems like everyone's telling him, telling me to give up. Just because everyone's against you doesn't mean they're right. Fuck these hoes. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's get out of here. We still gotta talk to whoever owns that car. All right. Right, that was the end of that. You knew about Detective Cross. You you knew who he was this whole time. No point trying to hide it anymore. Yes, I've known Gary for years. Gary with an E. You were working today, trying to stop my invest, trying to get me to stop investigating. I can't believe this. My own mother. Actually, forget that. I can't believe it. You didn't want me to be an actress. You didn't want me to be a detective. What do you want, Mom? I want you to be safe. But whenever I try, you always have to do the opposite. You paid for your college tuition. You dropped out and started acting. Set you up with Ryan, a successful businessman, you got a divorce. Doesn't all that tell you something? It tells me you still got a lot to learn. I'm getting sick of having to watch over you all the time. Then don't. It's almost I'm almost 30. I can make my own goddamn decisions. Yes. She doesn't look a day over 25. Uh Alright. Present evidence. Oh, look at this photograph. Of course not. I didn't know he'd be here tonight either. Too many surprises in one day, if you ask me. You don't like him? I'm sure he's a good detective. He was a good friend of your father's. I just didn't expect to see him, that's all. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. Let's go find Becky. Before that, let's save it up real quick. Nope, I can't save where the autosave, obviously. Save complete. Close. All right. Uh, can I go to the dressing room? Only go backstage. All right, Becky. Oh, was that Becky? She's been in the bathroom since she left the ceremony. Do you think she knows that Vic's been murdered? Knowing Becky, she'll probably think he deserved it for not giving her that award. What's up, bitch? How's it going, girl? Welcome back. I was worried you were gonna stay in the restroom all night. What? Don't be stupid on her. I just I had to fix my makeup. That's all. And do you know what happened? Of course I did. The cops even made me give a statement. Like, what's the point? I didn't see anything. And if it wasn't bad enough, Bobby Price just tried to make a pass at me. <laughs> it's our work being at the center of attention. Uh, sorry you didn't get the award. Sorry you didn't get the award for best actress. If it was any consolation, we all thought you deserved it. Everyone knows I deserved it. Well, everyone except that brainless nobody in the Starshine Committee, apparently. You're a great actress, Becky. Uh, you don't need to win an award for people to take you seriously. What would you know? You've never been on the short list. Uh, pretty crazy what happened to Dick. Let's be honest. He was ancient and his career was over. <laughs> yes, queen. Preach it. He was fucking dust. Uh, now he's biting it. Uh, it's going to happen soon enough anyways. Becky, he was murdered. Have you seen inside a retirement home? If I ever get that old and irrelevant, I hope someone does the same to me. <laughs> Yo, Becky rules. I'm going around on Becky. Uh, Bobby pressed me to pass at you. Can you blame him? I didn't even know he was 
back yet. It wasn't that long ago, he was in a cell. Another innocent person put away by Honor Mizrahi and Scout. What a fearsome duo. <laughs> uh, anyways, enough about us. Let's get back to you. My favorite subject. Bobby started yelling or telling me all about his TV show, and if that's supposed to impress me, like, we all have TV shows. That's Hollywood. Still, he is kind of cute, and a spot on a sh talk show could be good for publicity. Just be careful. The case isn't over yet. He could still turn out to be the murderer. Thinking about going on a show. Honor, I'm not marrying him. I'm not stupid enough to make that mistake. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hit blast? I have literally no idea why you're showing that to me. <laughs> uh... Alright, I guess, I guess... Oh, gross, get that away from me, you weirdo. <laughs> uh, hairprint? Uh, bow tie? Uh, lock it? Check it out. It's my dad. Uh, okay. Just making sure, just making sure. I hope I'm not losing points for showing her bad evidence. Is that Detective Cross? Who's the hottie he's with? That's my dad. Wow, I'm gonna give your mom props for locking that down. <laughs> Whoa, Becky. Take it easy. Uh, envelope. There you go. Where did you get that? Kyle sent on the dash of a pink 4x4 outside. A pink 4x4? Was that your car? Because it's been towed. Good. All I wanted for him was my parents to see me win the Starshine Award. They couldn't even do that. Mom thinks she can buy my forgiveness with some hideous hot pink monstrosity. I'm glad it got towed. They can crash the damn thing for all I care. Wow. Oof. By the way, I'm going to need to ride home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she did say shit that she didn't uh, in the beginning of the chapter. It was like, oh yeah, Becky doesn't need a ride anymore. Uh, Becky's great. Yeah, Becky goes hard. I'm coming around on her jacket too. Sorry, Becky. I know it's not. Uh, it's like I know what it's like not to have your parents' support. It sucks. Why can't they just be here? You don't need them. You got us. Forget it. I didn't even win, anyways. Saw the mystery of the pink car. No, no. We saw the mystery of the pink car. Now Detective Cross will finally trust us. I won't get your hopes up. You only give us that case to keep us busy. But I bet he didn't count on us solving it that fast. We're a great team, like Holmes and Watson, Cagney and Lacey, Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> oh, we are like Shaggy and Scooby. No mystery will go unsolved. No stone left unpunished. No criminal left unturned. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Just come on, partner. There's a murder to solve. Yes. I love the spunk. Ooh, maybe that's a, a tag we put on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, is spunky too gross? Because spunk also means something else. Courageous and determined. Okay, okay. No, no, I think I like the spunky tag. Oh, maybe we'll make Becky a tag too. Who knows? Uh, but I think we can get rid of jumpy. We're not very jumpy. Uh, let's, let's... There we go. Beautiful. Done. Save it. Send it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's 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 talk to Becky. See how she feels about being a tag on the stream. Uh, present evidence. I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, that's my dad. Uh, wallet. Uh, liquor spill. Just double checking. Just double checking. Oh, yeah, her acceptance speech. Oh, that? Don't be silly. It, it was just something uh, I was writing for the show, like a script. Uh, you were writing an award acceptance speech for a script? I have more talent than just acting on it. I, I was going to take it to the writer's room because that's where the writers are. But now it's all torn up, so I guess I can't. Oh, well. <laughs> Aw, poor Becky. All right. Uh... Dressing room. Is the body still there? The body's still there. Back to the crime. Back to the crime scene at last. I love crime. Sussy. Sussy is not going to be a tag. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, oh, oh, here we. Oh no. It, so when I type it in, it gives me some of the recommended tags that include Sussy. I'll just, I'll just read some off of you. Uh, sussy Baka. Sussy Baka. Uh, sussy streamer. Sussy imposter. Sussy gaming. Uh, sussy Chungus, uh, Sussy Wussy, Sucky, Sussy Bacchus, uh, Sussy Hussy, Sussy Hussy, Sucky, Sussy Bukaka, Sussy Sometimes, Sussy Among Us, 
uh, sussy baka suspicious, sussy boy, sussy frago, sussy internet, uh, sussy bandicoot, uh, sussy girls anonymous, sussy miss, sussy impasta. That's spelled like impasta, like the joke. Ahem. Sussy fox fish, uh, sussy imposter, sussy play, sussy ninety sixty eight, sussy Goku, sussy block game, sussy frog friendly, sussy bakaka. <laughs> I guess they, they spelled it wrong enough. Uh, sussy door, sussy pot, sussy baka, that's dog water. Sussy McBussy, sussy mungus, uh, sussy mung mungus, all caps, sussy squid, sussy guy, sussy TikTok. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'd definitely be attracting the wrong crowd if we if we put in these tags. I'm sorry to say. Uh, it'll be easier to search this place now that Cross isn't breathing down our necks. Understood. Setting scan mode to high resolution. Okay. Save it up, save it up. Save it up, save it up, save it up. Here I am. Want everything I can. Holding on to what I am. Pretending I'm a superman. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I forget I said sussy. Oh yeah, I already have. One, two, three, four. Oh, really? One, two, three, four? No, it's not enough. Uh, let's see, one, three, one, not quite. Ooh, two, two, four might, yeah, that's huge. Whoops. Uh, oh, that also clears out a lot of here. You want here, which one, two, three, four. Correct. Oh, bebe. Ooh, baby, ooh, ooh, baby. there okay okay two one eight one two three four five six seven eight uh the one could still fit here unfortunately two two one two three four five six that's a good one that's a good chunk uh god <laughs> sassy chungus i wonder what sassy chungus is up to uh, God, I am starving. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to wrap this up soon. Uh, because I'm I'm a starving boy. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's just that's just how that has to be. Uh, that could be the three, unfortunately. Uh. Yeah, that's about as far as that goes. Huh. Or, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Uh. Oh, that's a two, because this is a three over here, and then there's a two, and there's a one. There's a, there's a, there's a, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. There's a, oh, no, hold on, here we go. I was about to say, there's a tricky one. No, it's not. I can put that here. One, two, three, four. Yes. X, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Uh, I fully fucked that up. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, okay. So this is right. This is this is where I fucked up. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is a three. So one, two, three. Can't reach here. Uh, the two can't fit there. Yes. Nope. Yes. Uh. Oh, this is a gimme. Two, three. Ooh. Five, six, nothing. Ah, come on, help me out here. Via, what do you, what, where, where do you think? Give me a coordinates. Give me a battleship coordinates, and I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a marker there. Uh, two, three, four, five. Okay, nothing here. Uh, so this is a two. So that's there. Nice. 
it's here. That's a three, so that's a two, that's a three, that's a one, C4, three. All right, well, you missed. You didn't sink my battleship. G6, like a G6, like a G6. Three, four, five. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. Pogalicious debt. Pogalicious debt. Why is that song? Is that Fergalicious? Fer Fergalicious? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, who did G6? That wasn't Black Eyed Peas, was it? That was some other folks. Like a G6, like a G6. Yeah? Is that yeah to to Black Eyed Peas doing like a G6? Hold on. Like a G6. Oh no, that's... Song by Far East Movement and the Cataracts? <laughs> what? Oh, PDA Doc! Yes! Now we can make another PDA! Oh, I bet fucking Ryan did it. Wow, it's a... What is it? That's a doc for a PDA we found earlier. Good news, it provides a serial interface, which means I can use this to access the PDA. I just need a moment to break the password protection. Yes. Oh, the hacking. Yeah, to Fergie, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 three, one. Uh, two. Uh, two. Uh, one. I can't put X's, right? Yeah, so... There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, I need to do four of these bad boys. Okay, uh, two, two, three, one, three, three, one, two, five, four, four, two, two, three, uh, three, five, there. Okay. Four, five, three, three, one, 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 one. Uh, I think it's like this. Yes. Oh, I'm so good at fucking Picross. I'm in. I have access. To, I have full access to Dick's files. Great. I was wondering. Was he working on anything recently? There's a spreadsheet file. Last edited. I last edited earlier today. Best new comedy. Twenty six thousand five hundred off the grid. Paid. Best actor, 33,750. Graham Nona paid. Best actress, 30,760. Sarah O'Hara paid. Why? Dick must have been taking bribes from the awards committee. Honor, oh, no, there's one more. M murder, Miss Terry. Disqualification, 50,000. Paid. <gasps> Someone paid 50,000 to disqualify us? Who? There's no name here, but didn't Ryan pay that exact amount to an anonymous bank account? Yes. Yes. This is why we're here. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, we're gonna fucking own his ass. I can't wait. I've never had an ex-husband, but this must be what it's like. Feels very true to life somehow. Uh... Three. Uh, five. Three. Uh, oh god, I'm so hungry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, one. Three, one. Two, one, one. Three, one. One, one. It's like I'm typing in Morse code out here. Okay, go. Alright. A genius, though. Uh, unless I fully messed this up, in which case we'll find out 
in five minutes when we complete this puzzle. Uh, whether or not I fricked it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Whoops. Okay, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes, it has to be there. Uh, no. It's an X. There we go. Oh, baby. That doesn't tell me anything. What is this? It's like a like a Minecraft bed. It's like a... Okay, good on that front. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, ooh, baby. Uh, X there. X gonna give it to you. What? X gonna deliver it to you. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. Uh, the stainless steel. Uh... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So it leaves plenty of space for the three down here in a lot of places. So I don't like that. Uh, three, one. Oh, here we go. Huge. 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 Bam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yes. My plan is coming together. I don't know. If I was to commit murder, who would I kill? That's a great question. Uh, I feel like if I was to kill someone, I wouldn't, you know, out myself here because then that person's gonna wind up dead because I accomplished my mission because I'm so good at murder that they'll be able to just pin it on me right away you know so so in the interest of my uh you know not being sent to prison I'm gonna refrain from answering that question that I pose myself <laughs> it's fun to think about though you know murder's kooky murder's wacky I don't know, I'd like to think that I'd, I'd uh, leave plenty of clues behind for for the for a for a cheeky up and coming detective to figure me out, you know? Because that's just fun. That's just that's just good plain fun. They'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. You know, that's why I like the Riddler from Batman. He's always giving him a, giving him a shot, you know. Uh. Oh yeah, what is this, a honeypot? What? Briefcase, oh ho ho. Ho 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 ho, yas. B tier. There's a bunch of letters here from Dick's lawyers. Says and desist. See, sees and desist. <laughs> Sorry, LLP. <laughs> Dick was trying to stop someone from going to the press about him. It's right here in these letters. Oh, ho, ho. Do you think this is related to the rumors in Celeb Life magazine? It must be. It says the guy's name was Alex Costa. He accused Dick of being abusive and intimidating. Based on our interactions with him, that sounds about accurate. Sustained vertebral abuse for over a period of many years. <gasps> Volatile, ill-tempered, created a hostile work environment. <gasps> it's what's-her-face, Catherine. Dick would have made... Uh, Becky seem like an angel. <laughs> Everyone who worked with him must have known about this. Why was he allowed to keep his job? It's easy. Money. No two you never wants to fire their biggest star. It's easier just to make sure nothing ever goes public. Oh, topical. Well, that and he's a powerful man in the city run by powerful men. You can be sure Kathleen wouldn't have gotten away with being so difficult. But these files say something. Someone was trying to tell the truth. That would make it hard to ensure it never went public. Yeah, and Dick called in his lawyers to shut them down. 
Do you think it could drive someone to murder? It sounds possible motive to me. We should see if anyone knows this Alex Costa guy. Ho 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 ho. It's gotta be an alias, dude. Alright, uh... Let's see. We do everything backstage. Uh, there's an evidence. Oh, yeah, can I show her the... Ah, I don't want to hear about awards right now. I guess I'll have to tell her later when she's ready to hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But yeah, they had us eliminated for... Well, fucking Ryan. Where the fuck is Ryan? I'm gonna fucking tear up a new asshole. Oh, here he is, that piece of shit. Well, I still think Bobby did it. He's got the motive, the opportunity. Uh... Oh no, these guys sound very similar. Uh, is poison his style? He doesn't seem to like the kind of guy to think that far ahead. You know what? Oh. Uh, excuse me, that's my agent calling. Alright, you sack of shit. Save it up, gotta save it up, gotta save it up, gotta save it up. Save it up, save it up, save it up. Yeah, and now I'm gonna start doing that every time I save. Just like whenever I light a bonfire in... Uh, Dark Souls, I go bu -bu 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 bonfire. Uh, all right, who do we want to confront first? I think. Hmm. I don't know. They're both equal in my suspects list. Well, I think Ryan's less likely to be the suspect. I hear his suspect was released without charge. He seemed to be making a habit of this honor. I was wrong about Bobby. I admit that, but I'm not giving up. Good for you. I hear the detective even gave you a special assignment. We already solved it. Now we're looking for the murderer again. Is that so? Well, I'm sure you'll do your best. Uh, who do you think poisoned Dick? Why are you talking to Kathleen about the poison? What do you make of it? I don't think Bobby did it, if that's what you're asking. That doesn't leave many suspects. Kathleen, Becky, you. Watch it, binary boy. <laughs> oh, that was fun to say in his voice. Watch it, binary boy. I'm got nothing on me. Oh, he's... <laughs> and you know it. Uh, besides, if I'd killed Dick, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to hang around afterwards? Because it's probably long gone by now. I'm not so sure. Something tells me this thing with Dick was personal. They might be sitting around to see how things play out. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you're a psychologist now. As well as a detective. Ba 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 eat my shit. Isn't that a Dick's PDA? That $50,000 business agreement of yours, arrangement of yours, that was for Dick, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Ryan. I've got the data right here. That's why you met up with him earlier, isn't it? You paid him off. You had murder Miss Terry disqualified from the Starshine Awards. Get ready, Scout. honor has got another one of her wild theories. You've got no evidence. Is my name anywhere on that spreadsheet? I don't think so. Maybe not, but it's pretty convenient that Dick was murdered before any of this went public, isn't it? Are you actually suggesting I murdered him? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? You know, you're never going to be happy if you can't learn to trust people. I... I may leave the investigating the cops and let me take you home. You're tired. No. I know what I'm doing, Ryan. I've got the evidence right here on this PDA. I told you that you paid $50,000 to an anonymous account. You were seen arguing with Dick. Maybe your name isn't written down, but I know you, Ryan. This has your fingerprints all over it. You're inventing connections that aren't there. How am I supposed to talk to you when you're acting like this? You're being hysterical. It must be your time of the month. I knew there was a reason he was here tonight. Is he always like this? Pretty much. When things start looking good for me, he finds some way to tear it down. Why did you marry him? <laughs> it was different. He was different. Dang. At the start, he was so kind, so attentive. He made me feel like the most important being thing in the world. Then we got married, and suddenly he changed. He was more critical, more volatile. I was always walking on eggshells around him. Damn. Oof. If he was happy, it was because I'd done something right. Uh, it was because I'd done something right. If he was mad, well, that was my fault too. I was the center of his universe, but my universe was shrinking by the day. I stopped seeing friends, family. He even wanted me to quit the show. And if I ever tried to bring it up with him, he'd say I was imagining it. Oh my god, this guy's a gaslighter. And not a girl's boss. And not a girl boss. Luckily, Casey worked out what was going on and made me snap out of it. it. Took me long enough, but I got away eventually. I'm glad you distanced yourself from him. His voice is stupid. Apparently, it wasn't far enough. Alright. Uh, 
All right. I guess we're done questioning him. All right, Kathleen, how's the investigation going? Is it true Bobby got released already? Uh, looks like Bobby didn't kill Dick. It's true. Bobby didn't kill Dick. He just thought he did. I have to say, I'm surprised. It sounded like you had the case all wrapped up. We thought so, too, until we found out Dick was poisoned. Now we're back to square one. Poisoned? But I do that. I mean, what? It's not really my place to say, but just because Bobby admitted to strangling Dick doesn't mean he didn't poison him, too. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like you're trying to shift the blame. Can you think of any way Dick might have been poisoned before he got on stage? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know where he was before the presentation. Have you checked his dressing room? Uh, what was this briefcase? Uh, oh. Well, first of all, was taking bribes to regular Starshine Awards? What? That's terrible. I had no idea. Do you think that's why he was killed? Uh, let's see. Dick was trying to block a guy called Alex Costa from talking to the press. Apparently, Dick was a real piece of work off camera. That doesn't surprise me. It answers the question who leaked the rumors to Celeb Life. So it's true. I suppose there's no sense in trying to hide him anymore. He's dead now anyways. The truth is, Dick was always difficult to work with. He had the idea of a woman coming onto a show, but the network insisted. I put up with a lot for the sake of my career. Did you know Alex Costa? We'd like to speak with him. Sorry, I haven't kept in contact with any from the show. It's a uh, time I'd rather forget about. And yeah, better luck asking Bobby. A lot of old crew- Oh, stayed on while he took over. Wait a second, that reminds me. I mean, I could be wrong, but any information you have could be useful, Miss Cartwright. Well, I think Bobby's mother was called Alexandra. Are you sure? Yes, I remember now. Oh! God damn it. Sorry, it's my agent. You know how it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I think it's time we reviewed our, the new evidence. Agreed. Ryan is now quite a convicting, a convincing suspect. That spreadsheet said as he paid Dick to rig the Starshine Awards. Kathleen saw him arguing earlier, so maybe the deal didn't go so smoothly. Maybe Dick tried to increase the price or threatened to go public, and Ryan killed him to protect himself? Uh, but he's not the only suspect. There's also the matter of Alex Costa. Right, Dick was trying to keep Alex from going to the press about him. He almost succeeded, but Celeb Life still printed the accusations as rumors. Uh, they couldn't have been enough to stoke a fire between those two. Me, Alex poisoned Dick to get revenge. The only problem with that angle is we don't know where Alex is. Sorry, the question is uh, where, but who? No one seems to have heard of Alex Costa. What if he's not even a real person? First, it's people saying things they don't mean. Now it's people who aren't actually real. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> this leaves me with one option. Kill all humans uh, is a fake name. Whoever it is didn't want to risk getting found out. And they've been right here the whole time. Hmm. Bobby? Hold on, it's not even... Oh, it's not giving Kathleen. Uh. I think it might be Ryan. Oh, this is a tough one. He blackmailed Dick into having murder Miss Terry disqualified from the awards. It seems unlikely why would Ryan need to blackmail Dick if he already paid 50000 a bride. Good point. Maybe someone else fits is a better fit. Uh, Becky? <laughs> Becky is Alex Costa. You saw how desperate she wanted to win best actress. She could have been trying to blackmail Dick and not meeting her. A plausible moment, but Alex uh, had details knowledge of Dick's behavior on set. You're right. Oh, wait. There's no way. Dick was sabotaging Bobby's TV show. This was his way of getting revenge. A solid motive, but can you be sure? We've already had Bobby arrested once, and <laughs> we were wrong. Maybe we weren't. Maybe he knew Dick was poisoned and strangled him to finish the job. Not to mention, Kathleen said... She thinks Bobby's mother is called Alexandra. Alexandra Price. Oh, Price, Costa. Price, Cost, it all fits. <laughs> this is how he poisoned Dick. I suggest we try to find Bobby. He may reveal more under pressure with, with new evidence. Hey, he said he spoke to her after he was released. Hmm. Yo, what? Huh? Ah. Yo, she looks great. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. That's a look. Uh, can I help you? That was weird. Honor, I... He's gonna have a brain blast. 
No, it's nothing. Just a sensor glitch. We should look for Becky. What? Uh-oh. I hope Becky doesn't die. <laughs> I really hope Becky doesn't bite it. Oh. All right. All right. Give me the puzzles. I need the puzzles. I'm a slut for puzzles. Uh. Hmm. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh. Uh, this also doesn't help, really. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, give me something. Give me something to believe in. One, one, two. Oh, here we go. There's one here. This again doesn't tell me anything. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, well, this is definitely one, two, three. Yeah, here we go. Two. Well. Oh, this tell me that the two is there. Sick. Oh, that's huge. One, two, three, four, five. I suppose. Uh, that's an X, no matter what. This is an X. Uh, oh, a lot of X's here. Oh, actually, this is huge for me. Okay, okay, okay. I was a little worried there, you know? The, the puzzle is always most difficult at the beginning. That's what I tell my classes, uh, my students, when I teach classes about Picross. Uh, I always tell them, the puzzle you know is better than the puzzle you don't, you know? You never know until you know, you know? Uh... It started to sound like uh, the Metroid Prime theme. One of them. Uh, oh, there's a two here. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Can't reach here. Beautiful. We got the four. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we're doing it. We're beginning to believe. We're beginning to believe. Uh, okay, not sure where that leads. This will be the one or the two. That's fun, fortunate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so that's nothing. Okay. I mean, it's probably here, just judging by the picture. I don't like making assumptions like that. I like I like hard and fast truth, you know. I like rock solid evidence. Uh, this goes here. Also, I was wrong. <laughs> so good thing I didn't guess. Beautiful. What? Oh, it's makeup or something. What is it? Makeup. Oh, I knew it. I'm so good. Oh, we're we almost at A. Not quite. Not quite. How strange. A mirror. How strange. It's a mirror mounted on a small plastic case with a disc of compressed powder. It's called blush. You put it on your face. Is it some kind of disguise? No, this is just makeup. Oh, I was hoping we might have to disguise ourselves like in the movies. Could put on some of the blush to show you if you want, although it looks pretty expensive. On our, on our wait, what's the problem? My sensors are my sensors are reporting a critical warning, which means that there is a high risk of mortality. Huh? Where? From the subject, the makeup, it is extremely dangerous. Doesn't look dangerous, are you sure? Yes, although I am unsure of the specific reason the warning I was invoked from a previously inaccessible area of my memory. Is this the intuition Detective Cross talks about? Am I having a hunch? <laughs> Yo, he's having a brain blast, dude. One moment, I'll try to run a backtrace and identify it. Processing, recovering data. A stack backtrace suggests the warning handler was invoked by a routine called identify toxin. 
Honor, please use extreme caution. That blush contains a powerful neurotoxin. What? It seems this routine was somehow invoked automatically by my sensor array. The contents of the routine are obscured to me, but it references a database which seems to contain a list of toxins. In other words, I think we just found the poison that killed Dick Stanford. Yo. Do you really think this makeup is what killed Dick? My toxin detection routine supports a probability at around 99.89%. There seems to be quite a few things you don't know you can do, Scout. The hacking, and now an encyclopedic knowledge of poisons? Yes, I think it must be a side effect of my memory corruption. Do you think this makeup... Who do you think this makeup will belong to? Well, Becky was the last person we saw back here. In that case, either she's working with Bobby or she accidentally came into contact with the neurotoxin. Oh, God. She doesn't seem to be in the building. We've checked every room. Not every room. We haven't checked the woman's restroom. What are you waiting for? People frequently refer to me as a guy when that suggests I'm not allowed in the women's restroom. It's fine, I give you permission. Yas. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright. Well, now let's just double check. Nope, nothing. Okay. Women's restroom. Let's get there quick. Oh no. Gotta be the most expensive looking restaurant I've ever seen. Even the toilets are gold plated. Yeah, and they're freaking cold. I'd like to get my hands on whoever came up with that idea. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, Becky, 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 Becky. I thought you were done hiding in here. Are you okay? No, of course I'm not okay. Are you blind? Uh, is it still about the award? No, I mean, yes, but ah. It's everything. The award, my parents. Maybe I should just lock myself in here for the rest of my life. So winning a Starshine Award really that big of a deal? They obviously don't appreciate talent, so just forget about it. Oh, so I just forgot about it, of course? Why didn't I think of that? This has only been my dream since I was 11. It's just, what if tonight was my last chance? I tried so hard this year. This was how I was supposed to prove that I made it. You, you don't get a Starshine Award unless you're at the top of your game. That's not strictly true. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Dig out some files on his PDA that you might want to take a look at. Uh... What about your parents? Other than that, at least, at least your mom is here. Mine's too busy fighting with my dad at home. Yeah, I don't think they ever love each other. Wow. Hell, I'm not sure they even like each other. Why are they still together? The other one that wants to be the first to talk about separating. Apparently giving up, it's somehow, it isn't how we do things. <laughs> I thought maybe if I won, they might focus on me instead of fighting over who gets to renovate the dining room this month. That plan obviously uh, worked out great. What's the problem with Bobby? Except for the fact that he's a suspect in the murder case. Scout, we're trying to be supportive. The, the flag junk pile has a point. I know Bobby isn't exactly a catch, but I can't stop thinking about it. Might be a murder is a pretty high up on the list of dating red flags. I know, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do anything unless I'm not really innocent. But what if he's not interested in me? Can even win a stupid star over? Uh, yeah, I'll show you the PDA. Uh, or should I show you the makeup first? I'll show you the makeup first. Ah, I thought I'd gotten rid of that. So you're admitting to dispose of a deadly weapon? What are you babbling about? This makeup is poisoned. What? But Bobby gave that to me. Oh my god, is he trying to kill me? Whoa! Honor, I'm an actress, not an accountant. I don't do numbers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is important. Uh, Dick was taking bribes. He rigged the Starshine Awards. He did what? Let me see that. This is unbelievable. I know. Can you believe someone paid to have our show disqualified from every category? Forget about that. Sarah O'Hara paid 30000 for Best Actress. I knew she must have cheated. She can't even cry on cue. <laughs> okay, that entire time show disqualified was also bad. But you can't blame me for having priorities. Don't you see? You didn't miss out on war because you aren't good enough. You missed out because everyone else was cheating. I spent my whole career chasing Star Trek Award and they were worthless. What a ripoff. <laughs> Once this gets out, the entire Starshine committee will probably be fired. Uh, if a system is corrupt, sometimes the only solution is to start from scratch. They need a note to elect a new committee. <laughs> We've got to start planning my campaign. But for Becky, honesty, integrity, stark quality. Well, no one could say you're, you aren't honest. Uh, okay. Kind of sound like Lumpy Space Princess. Yes, that's what I'm channeling. It must be. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she gets upset. She definitely devolves into Lumpy Space Princess. That's definitely a great job for nailing that. Oh yeah, I already, I already did this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're doing we're doing this again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh. All right. Bobby gave you this blush. You think it's what killed Dick Stanford? I said I think. I said I think about going on a TV show, and then came back with this. Said it was a gift. But why did you leave it backstage? After that crap with my mom in the car, I'm so dumb with people thinking they could just buy me off like that. I guess it's a good thing I didn't try to use it. Do you think he was trying to get rid of the evidence? How about we get out of here? It sounds like you got a lot to do. Uh, and we have to tell the tech across about the poison makeup. Sounds good to me. Uh, hold on, I got, how do I get out of Lumpy Space Princess? Now I'm just stuck in there. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, it's getting kind of warm in here anyways. Ouch. Door handle is burning hot. Uh-oh, is there a fire? Uh-oh. The building is on fire, what? No way, I'm not gonna die in a bathroom. Can you imagine the obituary? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why do I keep getting stuck in rooms with you? The heat of the fire must have jammed the door mechanism. We have to find a way to open it. Uh, that's probably not the time for questioning. Uh, what do you think about this fire? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, okay. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh, at least the music is intense for this. Thank God. Uh, let's see. Two, two, three, three. Whoops. Alright, there's a one. There's a. Uh, there's a something here. Uh, it's definitely the five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the music I need to get me going. To get a good pick, Ross, going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, this can't be the three, so it has to be the one. Five. Uh, link these up. Nothing. Uh, oh, we're almost there. Oh, hold on. That's a two that can't be nothing. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, there's a fire. It's a freaking fire. We're all gonna die. One, two, three. Uh, God, he's just adding fucking charges to a sentence, you know? Now arson? Like, this is... This is ridiculous. That guy's digging himself into a deeper and deeper hole. Unless it's not him, and it's actually Kathleen. Now I'm saying, now I'm saying, she's still... she's. I'm, I'm not erasing any possibility that she has something to do with this, you know? She got the motive. Uh, yeah, this has to be the two. Uh... One, two, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Yes, it's definitely that. Uh. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna fail the puzzle and we're all gonna die. Like, that's just not how games work. Well, now this game works. At least I hope not. I'm not in more danger than I think I'm already in. Uh, three, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll get on that accord. Uh, booyaka, booyaka. But you may be right, you may be wrong, but you may be right. I may be wrong, but I may be right about this crime. Let me tell you that for free. What is this? A mango? <gasps> Fire extinguisher. Really? Oh, shit. I thought we were going to find like an exit, like a secret exit. The pressurized fire suppression system. This will allow us to clear the place of safety. But the door is still jammed. We need to find a way to open it. All right. Where is there a crowbar? 
just one more thing. All right. Uh. Oh, surely. One, one, one. Okay, almost, almost. Uh. Let's see. Six is something. Two, three, four, five, six. six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, nothing. Uh, ooh. This is almost something. Uh, come on. No. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, okay, so this is a one. That's huge. It's actually insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. And the rest of those are X's two. Uh, this has to be the two, speaking of. Uh, and then this is too far. This is a step too far. And these two are out of here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh so this is probably the five. This has to be. One, two, three. Uh not quite, not quite, not quite. Yeah, give me something to believe in. Uh oh, there's a six here. Sick. Six is uh uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, take a little off the edge, a little off the top. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, baby. Come on. Come on. We're all gonna burn to death. Two, three, four. All right, this can't be the four. There's not enough space for ones. Uh, so this has to be the four. Okay. We're solving now. Oh, we solving now. Uh, it's gotta be three. Oh, ho, 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 ho. one, two. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh. See one, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, baby, just busted it wide open. Busted the case wide open. Oh, I love when a case gets busted wide open. That's why why those CSI shows are so popular. You know just the the feeling of euphoria you get when justice is dispersed or dispensed just dispersed no uh what the fuck where do i even start oh i start right here oh yeah uh it's a snake it's a crowbar <laughs> all right perfect did i say out loud that what are we gonna find a crowbar because i didn't think there would actually be one. Why is there a crowbar in the bathroom? That's what I'm saying. I guess sometimes a plunger just isn't enough. Gross. Let me get out of here. But isn't going to be easy. Are you ready? I was ready five minutes ago. What took you so long with that Picross puzzle? I thought we were supposed to be the best Picross gamer of all time. Oh my god, it's an inferno out there. Yeah, get down. Yes, Becky! <laughs> Come on, you idiots. Move it or lose it. I don't know if I should be more scared of her or the fire. <laughs> you got three seconds. I'm leaving you here to get cremated. Yes, Becky! My hero. Oh, look at the art. <laughs> Heck yeah, Becky. Come on, we're getting out of here one way. Yes! Oh, don't. Yeah, don't breathe it in. Wait, that noise. It's a fire alarm, Scout. Come on, we gotta keep moving. I I can't. It's Scout. 
Snake! Dun 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 dun. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's the hot doctor. And this guy. Clear the area. Repeat all non essential personnel. Please clear the area. Oh, this is just for, to test one modification? I don't even recognize half this equipment. I'm sure they know what they're doing. I'll be keeping an eye on Scout. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't throw him in the dump. What I mean. Am I, am I being tested on image recognition, computer interfacing? I mean, we don't know exactly. Something new. I just hope they don't give you a gun. Primary systems online. Magnetizing coils. Power usage at 500 watts and rising. Ah, I feel strange. I'm seeing internal power fluctuations. I think we should get back. We should back off a little and... Negative. We are under the hardware failure threshold increasing to 1.3 kilowatts. Cascading system failures, we have to stop. You're gonna fry something. Do not interfere with the test. Uh, 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 help me. No, Scout. No. Do. Scout, wake up. I I remembered something. You have to tell me later. If we don't get out of here we're, we're soon, we're toast. What the hell are you two doing back there? Oh, we're coming. Come on, Scout, let's go. Fire extinguisher noises. Are those stock fire extinguisher noises? Yeah, take that and that. This fire is not much from me. This way, we're nearly out. Two hours later. Oh, I gotta click on that. Whoops. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. The fire didn't reach the main hall. Maybe not, but the stench sure did. It smells like a garbage fire in here. Hardly surprising. Half the building went up in flames. Everything backstage is gone. Backstage, does that include? Dick's dressing room, yeah. Oh. What do you what do you think caused the fire? Not what? Who? A lot of evidence just got burned up. Someone started that fire to cover their tracks. Can't gonna have my ass for this. We lost everything. Actually, we fucking busted this case wide open. Not everything. Scout and I searched that room a little while before the fire. I have a new theory. Let's hear it. I hope this isn't another wild goose chase. Dick was poisoned by Bobby Price. You gotta be kidding me. We found the neurotoxin that was used to poison Dick, and Becky says Bobby gave it to her as a gift. We just need to interrogate him and... Is that it? What do you mean, is that it? He was trying to get rid of the evidence. We got him. We got nothing. Your case has, been, has more holes in, than a golf course. Oh, that's a good turn of phrase. You can't arrest a man based on one witness statement. You need hard evidence. Where'd you get, where did he get the poison from? How was it administered? Where's the proof he handled the poison at all? Yes, there are a few unanswered questions, but we did find the owner of the pink car. <laughs> you can't be thorough. How am I ever supposed to trust you? It, it's nothing we can't handle. Just give us a little longer. While we're still outside, get, getting checked for burns. As soon as they're done with him, you can have your interrogation. You better have all your evidence together by then. All of it. Ooh, you better do this right. Or he's never going to let us near the crime scene again. I just don't know if there's any evidence left after that fire. Uh... We need to check in with Becky too. Know about Bobby and that makeup. Yes. Save it up, save it up. Uh yeah, there we go. Save it up, save it up, save it up. Alright, what's up, girl? Alright, that was quite something, huh? It was a close one for sure. Oh, it was a close one for sure. I I wanna say thanks. What? If it wasn't for you and Scout, we would have been stuck in that. I know I'm not always easy to work with, but you help me anyways, with the pep talk and the escape. You're welcome, Becky. I'm happy to have been of some assistance. Yeah, don't mention it. Besides, if, it for, if it wasn't for you, your firefighting heroics, we would have burned to a crisp. Yes. <laughs> when I'm head of the Starshine Committee, I'll remember what you did today. <laughs> I don't need an award. Is there anything about an award? I said remember. <laughs> Jeez, talk about self-centered. <laughs> Yeah, if anything, we should be thanking you for getting us out of that building. 
Where did you learn to use a fire extinguisher like that? I played a firefighter in a school play one year. <laughs> I got really into the role. I wore a costume for it, like two months. Of course, back then, the fire was just made of tissue paper. Holy crap, I could have died today. <laughs> Why'd you let me do that? Uh, I can't believe the awards are fake. Uh, I was so happy when we won Best Show in 93. Who knows when the committee started accepting pipes? I think we won Fair Square that year. As soon as we got elected, I'm clearing, cleaning house. All new rules and regulations, sweeping reforms. Hollywood won't know what hit it. I'm glad you found your calling. It's like I told you, you don't need an award to be happy. Because I don't need an award. You're going to be in charge of killing them out. That's way better. Just think of the press conferences, the publicity. <laughs> Alright, lady. Slow your roll. We need to talk about Bobby again. I already told you everything. You want to give me the show? I'm going to make up when you think I'm lying? Uh, but I doubt we're just trying to uncover more details. Can you remember anything else? Any, something you said? Any other gifts? There was one thing that came up with the makeup. I don't know if it was important. There it is. But you can take it if you want. There it is. I finally got out of Lumpy Space Pits. <laughs> uh, I think nine is here. Holy shit. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Jesus Christ, this fucking... Oh my god, there's so many puzzles. Oh, this puzzle game was fucking. I don't know. I'm supposed to manage all these freaking puzzles and I'm trying to solve a puzzle in your. Oh my god, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exit all out, exit all out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zoop. Oh my lord almighty. Alright, that's a two. Into shape. Shape it up. So that's an X. Two, three, four, five, six, and eight, nine. Oh. I mean, I feel like I'm going cross-eyed sometimes solving this pick, these Picross puzzles. You know what I'm saying? Oof. Ooh. Oh, hold on. And then that happens and I fully fucking tunnel vision in on this shit. And it feels like I'm unlocking my ninth chakra gate. Uh, one, two, three, four. I feel like I'm the avatar, but my element is Picross. Uh, four, two, two. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't impossible. Oh yeah, it's gotta be that. Oh, open your whispering eye. <laughs> what movie is that from? Dude, whispering eye. <laughs> uh, is that super bad? Is that super bad? I still need to watch super bad. It's been so long since I've seen it. <laughs> and by that I mean I, I've only seen like parts of it. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Uh. Oh wait, there's a one here. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Oops. There you go. What the hell is this? I don't even remember how we got to this puzzle. What were we investigating? Uh, one, two, three, two. You know, these are done. Done and dusted. Uh, three can't reach there. Okay, that's two there. Which means that this is all nothing. Which means that this is all nothing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Delightful. Uh, there was just a fire. All right, game. The music can't be doing this. <laughs> I can't wait for their next game. I hope it also involves Picross, but this is preposterous. I need some more intense tunes. I'm, I'm, I'm playing Picross. I'm not solving a Sudoku. You know, this is a real man's puzzle. There's some high octane puzzle re going on here. Uh... This has to be like this. Real checkerboard pattern. This. 
Oh, it's a fan. What the heck? It's for putting out the fire. Right, surely this gets its RA. Yes! Nice. The fan has text written on it. Thank you for shopping at Le Manchot Jolly. This must be where the makeup was purchased. They can tell us if they sold it to Bobby. Let me give them a call. Damn it, the battery's dead. Don't suppose you've got a power socket. Actually, I do, but it's only designed for very low power devices. Charging a cell phone will take some time. It's better than nothing here. Oh, Casey! I haven't seen you all night. I figured you left. Uh, I forgot your voice. Uh, that sort of thing just is my bag, baby. Just because you don't see me doesn't mean I'm not here. I've been stuck with your mother all evening. Honestly, how am I supposed to find Mr. Wright if I got that hanging around me? <laughs> now, borrow yourself. There's this boutique, La Marchand Jolie. Jolie? La Marchand Jolie? I need something from their sales records. Oh, I know that place. I went on a terrible couple of dates with their perfumes guy. Great guy, but he, but he insisted on cooking every time we met up. You broke up with him because he cooked for you? All those perfumes had screwed up his sense of smell. Honestly, it was like Pizza Hut had tried to make bolognese. <laughs> what? If I let him down gently, of course, I'm sure he'd do me a favor if I asked nicely. I need to know who bought this. I need to know who bought this makeup. Robe number 16 by Corinthia Cosmetics. Oh, Corinthia, very swish. I'll see what I can do. Hello, darling. Uh, uh, is that Marshall? It's me, Casey. How are you? Supervisor, look at you. Me? Oh, you know, this and that. Uh, oh, you saw the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's role models. Uh... uh, listen. Oh, yeah, role models. That's right. I remember now. I remember now. Uh, listen, can you do me a big favor? I'll try to track down one of your customers. I know you don't normally give out this kind of information, babe, but can't you make an exception for me? Uh, another date? Oh, I don't know. Is that such a good idea? Do you still cook? No? You don't have time anymore? That's great. I mean, that's understandable given your new responsibilities. How about we meet up this Friday? <laughs> about that info, did you sell any Corinthia Rogue number 16 recently? Oh, really? A special order? Very interesting. Do you have any other contact details? Yeah, a phone number would be great. Okay, got it. Thanks so much, Marshall. See you Friday. <laughs> wow. Call me a dummy? Just because I'm dumb doesn't mean I'm a dummy. Uh, so, did you get the name? Yep, only one person bought that makeup recently. Alex Costa. It's that name again. Who's Alex Costa? Uh, we think it might be Bobby Price using a fake name. Can you call the number they gave you? All right, but I'm sending you my phone bill this month. Oh, can I speak to Alex Costa? That's weird. What happened? Was it Bobby? Oh no, they hung up on me. Obviously. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> yep, not to become burglars. I'm just saying. It's good to have the option. We're still carrying that around for it's empty. Oh no, I thought I might make a nice souvenir. The way to remember the time you saved my life. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. Uh, you're you're just lucky I was in a good mood. There's the voice. There's the voice. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm getting lost in it. I'm getting lost in the sauce. All right. Holy crap! This, this chapter is still going. We still have to hit our S rank. We, uh, have we even hit A rank yet? But I doubt Bobby would have come here. That makes a perfect place to hide evidence. Yes. Holy, I feel like there's so many puzzles in this chapter. <laughs> So many more puzzles. Oh crap. Oh wow, this sucks. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, uh those twos get rid of those. Holy shit. I think this is our key to success. One one three two four. Okay. That's that done. Uh One, 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 two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three, four. Uh, one, 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 two, three, four, four, five. Oh, that's huge. That tells me this two is here and that this is the one. 
Nice. One, two, three. Not quite a solution. Uh, but these two go here. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that still works. Uh, get rid of this. Could this be the two? I cannot. So this is the four. So this is the two. So this is the two. So this is the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one second. I'm getting a phone call. We're back in business. We're back in business. Uh, where was I? Oh, man. I lost my place. Uh, it's like reading a book, you know. It's all about momentum. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. It's probably a one. Uh, oh, it's definitely a two. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, ho, ho. I'm going to get you, solution. I'm going to find you. And when I do, you're going to wish you had never been born. Uh, is, I think this has to be the two. Let's see. Two, one, two, four, two. Yeah. There we go. It's a huge help. Uh, <laughs> six, seven. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Nothing here, nothing here. Uh, oh, because it'll be the one here. I think it's definitely the one now. Here we go. Uh, well, there's a one here. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. Four, two. About it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Uh, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Uh, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hmm. Okay, we still have plenty of exposed bits. Uh, God, I'm glad this is a murder mystery and not a special victims unit sort of dealio, you know? I was never a fan of the SVU. The, the, the topics were a little too heavy for me. I'm a wee little baby. Don't you forget it. Uh, one, uh, ha, 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 ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. Uh, one, two, three, three, I guess this has to go like this. Oh, I hate these checkerboard patterns. They really fuck you up. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yes, this is what I need. You don't like SVU? Nah. I like when crime is just like murder, you know? I don't, I don't need any special victims, you know? Olivia Benson is a queen, though? I mean, yes. It's it's not her fault, alright? It's just the content matter. Uh, no, that's not right. Okay. Narrowing it down. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Uh, this zero isn't grayed out. Uh. Hmm. Nope. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, on, I guess. This has to be one. So eliminates that. Uh, and now. Hold on. 
Really? There's just a bunch of ones in here? Oh, come on. Oh, wait. There we go. That's a free one. Uh, there we go. Narrow it down. Narrow it down. Oh, narrowed it down. Narrowed it down. Uh, still got two possible locations here. Uh, hmm. It's probably this one, but I don't want to take any chances. I don't want to take a chance on me like ABBA. Uh, we got no place to go, but a bad ain't bad. Uh, also, is Ice-T in SVU? I feel like he must be. I think that's the one he's in. Uh, okay, that's gonna be the two. Okay, okay. We found the out. We drew the out. Yeah, all these checker patterns are mind flooding. Uh, but we did it. We got there. We're, we're too good to fail. I like the banks. We're too big to fail. What? Gloves. Um, black gloves. Like, what's her face at? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, we're almost there. We're so close to that X rank. You made me dig through a garbage can for an old pair of gloves. Not just any pair of gloves. I detect trace levels of the neurotoxin on them. You're right. There's red powder on the fingertips. Bobby must have worn them while handling the poison makeup and dispose of them here. Only one problem with your theory, Scout. These are women's gloves and they look familiar. Fucking scream. Hello? Why does it let me investigate if there's nothing to investigate? I'm gonna be pissed if I miss the puzzle. And don't get my S. Oh! There it is. I knew it. Oh my god. <laughs> They're too large. The puzzles are too powerful. I don't think I can go on. Oh, whoops. Alright, now this... Okay, one, one, one. Two, one, one, two. Okay. Yeah, this is a complete row. Nice, nice, nice. Uh... See, what about this one? Three, one, 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 two, three, four. Ooh, just barely get one. Just barely some overlap. <laughs> four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I am reaching the limit of my brain's capacity to parse squares. <laughs> uh, I, I, but I think we're about to bust open the case, and I can't stop now. Okay, so this has to be a three. Specifically that three. Uh, okay. This has to be a one. Specifically that one. Oh, and that might give us enough leeway to figure some of these out. There you go. There you go. There you go. You need food, dog? Uh, yeah, I do need food. I need nourishment. But for now, something to hold me over 